It is the Mike Count, the show. It's 102.5 The Bone. Good morning, everybody. It is, what did it say? Wednesday. Oh, Jesus. Wednesday, March 20th, 2024, and we are coming to you live. I know I talk about this every day, but every time I do, I look at the, the date and I go, oh, my God, my anniversary is coming up. Mm. I have nothing planned. I'm sorry, Gio. But you agreed to plan nothing, right? That was the... Yeah, but I always agree to plan nothing, and then I do that something big. That doesn't mean don't yeah. plan anything. You know what? Mike, I did come up with something. What do you got? I'm sure she already has it or ordered it. Give it to Stanley Cup. She's got it, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, they came out with a limited edition, an Easter one. Oh, that you're was kidding? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you were being serious? Go ahead. I'm listening. <laughs> yeah. Well, they came out with a limited edition Easter print oh, of a wow. Stanley Cup, and I just know that she likes those, and I know it's one of those things like not everyone's going to be able to get one yeah. type thing. Yeah. I'm sure she's already ordered it or has five of them, but <laughs> I, in case you- Good just, idea. Yeah, just, you know, if you really are coming up blank, that is something. They have, like, limited edition Stanley. Is it so. made of brass by any chance? No lead. It's all lead. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. no, it's, like, oh, no. pink and yellow, and it has stripes on it. Like, it's just, you Oh, know. adorable. I can't yeah. wait for the video of Mike pushing a mom out of the way at the kiosk and telling <laughs> yeah. you have to fight for it. We're getting tackled by a mom <laughs> yeah. these days. Uh, I went, did you see the video of what I get my, done at the uh, foot doctor? I put it yeah. up on our Instagram. Yeah, yeah right? Is you that like a laser? No, no, not really. Why? I, f- I mean, you did this to your own feet. <laughs> oh. They're your feet. <laughs> your fault, Michael. Yeah, That's take true. care of them. Um, yeah, it, no, it's not a laser. It's a, it, it like, I don't know what it does. Like Bangs punches it. it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like I feel it, but I don't feel it. It doesn't kill me, but I can feel it. It looks good. It looks like it's like a like a massage. It's I thought not, it was oh, a lake. No, no. It's I like thought... that's the most sensitive. You know when you stub your toe and you're like, mother. Yeah. That's if I tap my heel against anything on the back, it's a thousand times worse. Okay. Ooh. But I will tell you. You have bad feet. But, well, no, I have, I have uh, heel spurs. And as uh, you're supposed to go five times for this treatment, and then that's when it's supposed to be the... It's already feeling a lot better. So I told I you like to get, get the cart, man. Like, that's what yeah. yeah. I'm saying. Is it the <laughs> same as like shin splints? Like when you run too much yes. that happens? Yeah, I run too much. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. He does too much laying down. That's right. why the back of his heels. <laughs> they don't get enough bending enough. Mm. Yeah, no. Uh, I saw the x ray. I mean, it looks like there's a rock in the back of, of both of my feet. Oh. Yeah. And. But this thing is actually working. Dr. Caloris is his name. Everybody's asking me because I guess other people have foot problems. So I was like, hey, can you fix anything else right here? Can you shoot my elbow with that or my shoulder or something? But, uh, yeah, I, 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 it's an awkward thing that we do. Sometimes we have to uh, incorporate our real life into the show. And then when there's an opportunity now through social media, so I had to ask the doctor, do you mind if I video you zapping uh-huh. my feet? He was like, no, it's okay. It, the worst is when we go to Hooters and we have something planned with the Hooters waitress and I have to ask the Hooters waitress to do it. And they're always very friendly because most of them say, sure, it's part of our job. We're happy to do it. But I go, yeah, I know, but you're still like, Ugh, those creeps just made me yeah, do this yeah. table 14. You know? <laughs> we know what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We didn't. I, we've never asked them to do anything. Like I always ask them to. The last time video we made was asking the girl what she thought about Spanish's gold chains, which right. surprisingly she liked. Yeah. Yeah. I was very, I was very upset by that. Yeah, but they kind of have to say they like it. Mm. They're representing right, have, the brand. Yeah. They don't want to say bad things, right. and it goes viral. And did you tip them yet? No, and That's, I was, yeah, I, exactly. but I was paying. So it doesn't matter. You're well, not I made gonna, it very clear I didn't like Spanish. <laughs> uh, yeah, but you're still not going to insult someone at the table yeah. if you ha- if you haven't got your money yet. Yeah, you're probably right. You wait you for that. Know. You would know. Yeah. One hundred percent. Even though I did it the opposite way when I used to bartend, I would insult the heck out of people, and they loved it. Yeah. Some guys feed off of it. I'd be like, "Take a shot, you pussy." Yeah. Uh, and then they're like, "All right, round for everybody. Make them doubles." And I was like, "Oh, okay." Yeah. I gotta tell you, you say, "Take a shot, you pussy." I go, "I'm leaving." Yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm not Most people here. do, but other yeah. some guys are like, "Oh, I double. You take yeah. one too." No, I like a little sassy little bartender. I told you we had a girl that worked at the uh, beer tub, like right at the beginning, right as soon as you walked in the door, and she would yell at all the guys. And she was a smoking hot, like nineteen year old girl. And she'd be like, "Guys, you ready for a beer?" And they'd be like, uh, "And she goes, what are you gay?'" Yeah. <laughs> and they'd be like, oh, "I'm not gay." And then just sit there for the rest of the night, drink every beer. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the program today. It's Wednesday. That means uh, Galvin will have a brand new open letter coming up. Martine is coming by today. Oh, nice. See Martine in a little bit. Yeah. 
And uh, it's Frask out. It is. It really? yeah. 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 I was Ooh, very dropped. surprised. You know why that bugs me? Because I like to set the air down to a low temperature when I go to sleep. And then when it gets cold outside, it shuts the air off. Yeah. Oh, I didn't like it's that It's more at about all. the air flow as opposed to the actual temperature. I put the air on 67 last night just to get it to blow yeah. some air into the room. I, I mean, th- we haven't seen a, an extended winter weather like this in a no. long time. A real long time. Uh, it is uh, like 50 degrees out right now, and it looks like for the rest of the week, it's going to be back to normal where Aww. it's up to 81 and this, that, whatever. Uh, Sunday, it'll be down 57 is the low wow. on Sunday. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so we could watch football. Wait. Oh. <laughs> the XFL's starting or already did start. I don't even, I'm not even sure. I don't even. It's know. not the XFL. Oh, it's the. Where are you gonna go? US U- U- F- UFL. 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 U-S- what are you gonna go watch? The Iowa Barnstormers play the Brahma Bulls of Alabama, or whatever they are. If there, were, if there was a Tampa team, I would watch it. Yeah. There's not so. Right, I, and there's not even an Orlando team. Is no, there? yeah, there's like, no Florida team at all. So to hell with you, The Rock. That's what I say, The Rock. Right. Um, Bobby has gotten into wrestling lately. Because The Rock is back through this whole feud with Cody yeah. and Rock. Mm. And I'm like, I don't know, Bob. It just doesn't do it for me. And then he put the promo on with The Rock did in the ring. Yeah. And then I watched one the other night with Cody in the ring. I'm getting suckered back into this thing That's now. how they get you. It's good. Uh, Mike, yes. I have a question for you. Not gay. <laughs> uh, I didn't think so. Uh, you posted a video of Bobby. Yeah. Is that real? That's 100% real. Uh, <laughs> I was like looking at it. I thought maybe it was someone else and you were just saying it was no, no, Bobby. No, no, no. I know. I figured out. Oh, I was laughing. Oh, so, that's hilarious. So it, it's a video that he's had since not this last trip, but the trip prior that he came down here with his family. He The night before, he went to his gym and he went to go uh, get down on the bench and he went to get up and he couldn't get up and he rolled over and flipped over. It, it's hilarious. It looks like a baby seal trying to yeah. stand up somewhere. <laughs> and it's real. And he had to call the gym and ask the owner of the gym if he could go through the security footage and get it for him. And he did. And I've seen that video for so long, but I couldn't do anything with it because he hadn't done anything with it. And then he gave it to uh, Andrew Santino when he went on the show so that they could put it on while he did the podcast. And uh, then they they released it yesterday on the bonfire. So I'm like, all right, I got it. It's on our Facebook page. Facebook.com slash the Mike Kelta show. It's so funny. It's, It's actual security footage. Of Bobby in his gym. It's one of those gyms you can go in, you know, where whether you could be by yourself or there'll be other people there. And um and there was nobody there. It was one other guy and he's he was an Indian guy and Bobby goes, I got stuck and I realized the only way to get unstuck was to fall and I fell and I rolled over and now listen to here. Are you okay? <laughs> are you okay? Speaking of are you okay, did anybody watch Jeopardy last night? No. The final tournament of champions is over. Our guy did not win from Tampa Trail. Ah. But boy, did he play strong. The unlikable guy, Rogesh, won. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. He he dominated pretty well. He the guy it's unbelievable how they answer with such confidence about everything. Like if you said to me, uh, this singer came from uh, Tennessee and uh, lived in uh, oh, I can't I'm trying to think of Elvis, but I can't think of any clues. And I, I would go, Oh, well, who is Elvis? Like I know the answer to that. Right. But if you said this duo were explorers and they went, I'd be like, who are Lewis and Clark? Like, I'd have to ask. Them. Right, right. Yo, Gesh was like, who are Lewis and Clark? Who is Elvis? Who is this? Who are the bridges and rivers and yeah. states and government officials? And I, he knows everything. It, it's just a matter of the three of them knew everything. It's just a matter of who hits that clicker and who, who you know, who can go in consistently. It was it was really interesting, but um, it resets now. So the whole clicker thing is a big part of it because you see them pressing as you know they're asking the question. They start pressing immediately, and then you'll see some people get frustrated because there'll be like three times yeah. where they don't get in fast enough, and they're like, "Because you know. what they have to finish the question, no matter when you they buzz in, right? Yeah, like I be- they finish. I believe it's yeah, like right you, at the end of the question, yeah, which I think the, that's crap. Uh, I mean, fair. well, you're well, no, but you're buzzing before you hear the question, so you're just hoping you know the answer. Yeah, but you lose money if you get it wrong. Yeah. So they're not. What happens is they're like, uh, what? What is the color blue? And as soon as you say blue, then they start. Then you start clicking. But Rogesh was doing it like this. He was hitting like this because he couldn't get in fast enough. It was. I don't know. It was pretty interesting to watch. But uh, Troy Meyer, who is from the Tampa Bay area, he seemed very defeated after the show because it was, it was three one and two. Uh, on, on their wins, and he had to one, but he got he kept getting screwed by daily doubles. Not that he's not as smart as the other guys, so but it was great. It was great to watch. It was a fun nerd run, and now it resets, and a whole new bunch of contestants come in. 
Rogesh. That's the name of the future mm-hmm. when it comes to knowledge. Uh, 727-579-1025 or 800-771-1025 with the phone numbers. Good news also, have you seen Love Tiger is Alive? I saw, yeah. And looking sexy as all yeah. hell. Farman, have you what? seen it? I did, and he even messaged me. Oh, yeah. he he messaged me after we said yesterday we didn't know if he was dead or not. Yeah, and he took a picture, and he and I put it on our Instagram page, and uh, he's got a beard, and he looks like he should be in Yellowstone. He said he's down to two twenty five, so he's lost a bunch of weight. He said he's feeling good. good oh, that air fryer man. No, yeah. you know how mad his parents are. They, they're like, damn it. We were almost rid of him. Oh. We, almost, we almost had freedom. Just How do you kidding. think the toes are? Think he got oh, this cleared oh, up? He or? did tell me that his mother cut him for him. And that's like 17 pounds right there. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, I did ask my doctor to look at the uh, ugly toe that I have yesterday. Yeah. And it got pretty intense. He gave me some stuff to put on it, but then he also had to bring out some equipment. Mm. Yeah, dude. He, dude. He used a thing to clip my toenail that looked like it could take a tree branch off. And then he had to get the the Dremel and the drill and. Zzz, 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 zzz. Oh, I was... envision like the the videos on Instagram with the horse hoof. Yeah, <laughs> as it was a lot like that. I like... envision Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a little both. And they bring in like a team of people to hold it down and like saw he, it off. He so the problem easy is... boy easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! The nail gets thick. Yeah, so it's hard to get the the clippers around it. So he had to bring in the industrial clippers clip it off and then he said the key is to keep it thin and put this stuff on it and it'll get better and he said there is an oral medication you can take because i know a lot of people got cloudy toes uh, there's an oral medication you can take but it does they have to check your liver enzymes and make sure it's yeah. okay and, blah, blah, blah. and he's like this is just the easier safer way to do it so was it an ingrown toe is that no, it's, toenail it's just it has a toe fungus on it and it got cloudy and the problem is it grows f- thick and wide so when it grows, it grows into the skin. So the doctor's like, "Does this hurt?" I go, "No, I've done surgery on that toe. You know, every other month or so, got to get that, got to clip it out, or it grows into the skin." <laughs> this is going to make you put your shoulders up to your ears. It's so gross. So a lot of ultra runners, you know, that run marathons, run further than marathons, uh, they will have problems with their toenails. Toenails will come off, or you know, turn black and do all this stuff. So one guy, a uh, book that I was reading, he uh, was having problems with his toenails, so he just went and all, had it, all of his toenails removed. Oh. 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 That's, so gross. That's so gross. It doesn't grow back? Uh, I guess not. Oh. Yeah, if you take it all the way off, I guess it doesn't grow back. Oof. Oh, I mean, I can't imagine <laughs> that that feels any better. Oh, that'd be so weird. I'd feel so, like, naked, you know? Right, like, just go get a pedicure. Yeah, just yeah, take care not, of your feet. It's not that easy. Yeah. It's not that, look, I, it is. I, I have been using medicine on that toe, getting pedicures, doing all the things, and it doesn't do anything. It, there's nothing that will kill it. If it's in, the fungus is in. You need some medication to get it out. Mm. Trust me. I mean, there. just take care of your feet before it gets that bad. Take care of your feet. <laughs> My feet are fine. I don't have a fungus. Yeah, you do. It's in your butt. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Today, Gio, you missed it. Oh, no. Joe got here at like 540. I was still upstairs. What? what? Yeah. It's the wow. Uber. Are we sure that Joe ever Did left? You- no. <laughs> I, I, said, he, I said, you're so early. He goes, I've been here all night. <laughs> <laughs> he maybe just went on the little house on the back yeah, porch. Yeah. That's right. Did was- you Uber, Joe? No, I did not. Go ahead, ask the follow-up question. <laughs> Who dropped you off? Anthony. It's Anthony. It's yeah. Anthony. Yeah. Mm. So it is possible for you guys to be on time. Oh! Oh, wow. Wow. I like it. Yes. I, yes, apparently, Carmen, it is. Okay. Mm-hmm. Imagine yeah. that. If you notice, uh, Spanish is still not here. I don't know. It, it, people could ask me till they're blown in the face. as a corporate HR thing, and I have no idea. I know. I asked John Brennan yesterday. Yeah. And he was like, ah, I'll have an answer for you. And he just ran out like he had a meeting. I was like, I know your picture. I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to follow you. And then he There's actually no did go to a meeting. Yeah. <laughs> he like grabbed his little notebook or whatever. He's like, I got to go. And I was like, no, you don't. Get back here. <laughs> just, draw- just drawings of the USF logo inside there. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I uh, I don't know what the deal is. And uh, I, we don't hide anything on this show. And we don't do that. I just. I talked to my guys yesterday, and they said, yeah, we're waiting on HR to do this and that and the other thing. So um, hopefully that I my gut feeling tells me that gets cleared up soon. 
Yeah. And, uh, well, but we'll see. But in the meantime, it does not mean we're not going to crap on him right now. Oh. Where is he right now? Uh, he <laughs> in the driveway. So <laughs> I, I asked Joe. I told him to wait in the car. <laughs> I asked Joe. I said, so like Spanish drives you off, then does he go back home and just go to sleep? Or what? what does he do? And he said, no, he's... He's going to the pier to watch the sunrise. Oh. Oh. I, that's, I, mean, my... I hope he falls in. <laughs> and I said gross, and Joe said he's on a spirit, spiritual journey. And I said, oh. Oh, okay. That's even yeah. more gross. I did, he uh, loves the sunrise. I did drop Joe off at the 7-Eleven again yesterday. Oh, yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Dogs rolling. They yeah, know bro. him there now. They're yeah. like, Joe! Yeah, why, they give... Wait, why are you dropping him off at the 7-Eleven? <laughs> because it's easier than having Uber come all the way in here. They oh, call Uber. The gate. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. they call the gate and do yeah. all that and stuff. And I'm not going to take him any farther. I was yeah. like, I can yeah. take you as far as a 7-Eleven, then I got to turn my back on and, and I didn't use Uber <laughs> yesterday. My my uh, my buddy, Bela Wurstler, came in. Who? Came None what? of your friends have normal names. Yeah. Yeah. None of your friends. <laughs> and how do you have so many friends that are just free in the middle of the day to come pick you up? Yeah, part know. of the joke club. Yeah, you know. Bob Sacamano. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Bob Sacamano. <laughs> what, who, what is this guy's name? Uh, Bela Wurstler. Baylor, Baylor Wurzler. Yeah. You're That's making that up. Let's, no let's make up the fakest name we can make <laughs> yeah. up. That's a candy company from Germany. No, I'm telling Should you. I do Baylor Wurzler? It's Baylor Wurzler. Baylor. Yeah, Baylor. Baylor. He's, Baylor. Hun- he's Hungarian. Okay, Baylor. Mm-hmm. How'd you meet him? Uh, band. He's a bass player. And, oh, yeah. Baylor. No, yeah. no. Mm-hmm. All bass players. Ask right. me how I got here today, Mike. How'd you get hey. here? Today? Uh, my buddy Draven McHafferson. <laughs> <laughs> what? Who? Oh. Draven McHafferson. You guys yeah. been friends for a long time? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. We met uh, a long time ago. I helped him with his cloudy toe. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> We've been friends ever since. Kind of like the mouse yeah. and the elephant. That sounds like a great yeah. guy. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I've nobody. Joe has never said, "Oh, uh, you know, Steve Miller is the most common yeah. name that you know." And, yeah. and but nobody else has ever had a normal name. No, uh, Draven. Yeah. Draven is married to a girl. Well, he's his brother's name is Staven. So there's Draven. No. Yeah. Listen to me. Yeah. There's Draven. <laughs> no. There's Staven. He married a girl named Maven, uh-huh. <laughs> and then they had a son, Steve. Uh, weird, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. They ran out of Avens. <laughs> Who was the guy yesterday, brother? <laughs> Brother Mark. Brother, Brother Mark. Mark. <laughs> no. God, Jesus. Brother Mark. There's no the Glenn Sparkles. The Glenn Sparkles. Oh, yeah. I have a feeling they're on like a permo trip. They're just hallucinating with yeah. all these people. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're all Joe's imaginary friends. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, we find out that Baylor's just a seven foot tall rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> Can I tell you why I hate Brother Mark? <laughs> <Okay>. Sure. <laughs> yes. First of all, never met him. I yeah. don't know anything about uh, the guy. Could uh, be the most wonderful guy. Apparently, I know him real well. Yeah, you were friends with him. <laughs> Uh, anybody who just calls himself Brother Mark. Oh, one hundred percent. I'm Brother Mark. One hundred percent. Like if you, uh, I'm telling you right now, if you ask anybody to call you something, we hate you. Yeah. yeah. Mo- it, it, most of the time, people would say, "What's your name?" When I was Cowhead, and I'd be like, "Mike." Yeah. I n- I never would be like, "I'm Cowhead." Okay. <laughs> in his defense, I don't think that he came up with Brother Mark. I think that they all. Called him Brother Mark. Ooh, the cult. Uh, well, no, the other, you know, Anthony and his friends called him Brother Mark because he's very, you know, uh, religious at the time, and uh, so that was. And how did they meet? Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't know how Anthony met Brother Mark. If I had a guess, I would say it would be some sort of meeting that happens in a circle. Maybe. Uh, no, well, I mean, not a we, hacky sack or a drum is involved. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, on that, the beach. I can yeah. see that. Yeah. A barbecue, the brother. Yeah. Brother Mark's the only grill eggplant yeah. vegetables. Sunsets are free, Carmen. By the way, stop calling him Anthony. It's Spanish. Okay, Spanish. I get that a lot. Like, I'll get DMs and people trying to figure out what's going on, and they say, "Hey, man, uh, so I just want to, what's going on with Anthony?" Uh, like in the DM, uh, like, yeah, yeah. he's, he's really friend. trying. Yeah. <laughs> just between us, like, yeah. what's really going on uh, with Anthony? My favorite is people that hit me up. Yeah, like that, like Ash Chin, and the people, what's really going on? With, well, let me tell you. Yeah, what's going on? yeah. We, yeah. I'm gonna break down this. <laughs> Stop and all of a sudden get involved with each and every one of you that DMs me. I, I don't know. <laughs> Do you think if I could Ask talk him. about it, I wouldn't just blanket talk to two million people at one time? Yeah, I just give him, jo- to- I give him John Brennan's phone number. That's say. the best thing to yeah. do. Yeah. I give him geos. <laughs> <laughs> Some lady wrote, uh, she sent me a more of like a comment on one of my pictures. I miss Spanish. I go, well, call him. What do yeah. you want from me? I don't I, I, Got his number. Sorry, you're having a bad day. <laughs> um, I went to Felice's yesterday. God, I love that place. Uh, it was St. Joseph's Day, and they have a special St. Joseph pastry. And I went there, and they were sold out, but they had one in the back for me. And when she went to get it, I think a World War Three almost broke out. 
the lady next to me started cursing in Italian. Oh. <laughs> She's like, hey, she just asked for one, and they told her no more. And then I came in, they brought one for me. Uh. And, and, and then Gabby was like, I have one for you, too. She went in the back. She's like, we're filling them right now. We're making she put them. it under a hat, uh. slide it over to you. <laughs> uh, it was good, man. I go in there, and I'm like, let's just take two of these, two of these. I just want everything. I want to eat it all. <laughs> You're like uh, Rodney Dangerfield in the uh, pro shop in Caddyshack. Yeah, 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 One yeah. of those, two of those, eight of those. <laughs> That's hey, a terrible hat. Hey, Wang. <laughs> yeah, it was, it's a good time. I went from the foot doctor to the Italian market. I'm officially a senior citizen. <laughs> Your doctor said put some mozzarella on the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Your heel. I wish it was that easy. I, You know, when I walked in there, and there was this woman, I don't want to guess how old she was, but she was older than me, mm-hmm. and she had an Italian accent, and she was like, Hey yo, and I go yeah. And she goes, you on the radio? I said yes. And she goes, I listen to every day. I said, nice. Oh, nice. I love it. Paisan. I love, it. and also black guys, give it up now. We're way past. We're we're uh, well into the double digits. So yeah. Everybody's like, I want to be uh, uh, your ninth black lizard. I'm like nine. We had nine t- twenty years ago. Uh, we're, we're we got at least. 30 I still remember point. for the uh, Christmas thing over in Dunedin, we had uh, N four and N six together. Yeah, which was wild. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, and, seven. Ten. and seven, and seven, and seven, yeah, and four, and then seven were together. It's like when the Avengers finally met each yeah. other, right? All right. <laughs> I thought a portal was going to open up whenever they took a picture together. Uh, I have to tell you, I really enjoyed that Christmas pub crawl. Oh yeah, that, that Newport Richie thing. I'm th- I have a free weekend this weekend, and I was thinking about firing up Templar Joey, Templar Templar Templar, and uh, Polly oh, D. It's Chasco this weekend. What is that? It's a Chasco Fiesta, Newport Richie. It's madness. Should I stay away? I mean, it's it's just a lot of people. Eh, I like people. Yeah, it's it's just it gets crazy down there. But I want to go drink. Yeah, yeah. I want to have a good time. Oh yeah, they'll but they'll just be tons of people because right. of they block off the streets. Oh, there's a parade. Right. now I gotta walk. Yeah, there's bands. Yeah. That <laughs> there's, there's bands playing like every night. It's it's a whole deal. The best thing about Tom is, uh, Tom knows that I don't want to walk. So if we pull up somewhere and it's it's gated off or whatever. Yeah, I can. I, I can't see outside, but I could just hear it. Tom's door. <laughs> door closes. We're going. <laughs> he never. He never. When we went to the sound for the first time, Tom was like, "I gotta go to special parking. Get get as close as I can." And uh, Tom comes out and opens the door and he goes, "I apologize. This is as close as I can get." We walked out. It was right there. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, what are you gonna take me to the stage? I go, "This is great. I can't get any closer." Listen, if you want some front row parking, you can come to Treasure Island, drink on the beach with me this weekend. Oh, oh wait, where, where is this? Maybe I'll do this. Saturday, I'm going to be at Sloppy Joe's. Sloppy, Sloppy Joe's. Joe's. Sloppy, Sloppy, Sloppy Joe's. Joe's. Yeah, I'm going to be there from 12 to 2 with Corona. We're giving away $500. In a gift card, and you can sign up to win a trip for Vegas. You can't, but you can at least come drink on the beach with me. Maybe I'll do that. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah, you. Maybe I'll do that. Oh, do they have a hotel there at Sloppy Joe's? I'm pretty sure. Not at Sloppy Joe's, but like right down right the street. street. or whatever, yeah. Yeah. It's but probably I'm just empty saying- now because nobody wants to be cold on the beach. And this would be this is like a good like pre-cruise beach, mm. drinking on the beach. Warm up. Yeah. Warm up your liver. Hanging yeah, out. Get it going, yeah. Ooh. yeah. You don't want to shock, the, you want to shock the liver with the, exactly. See what uh, sleeveless shirt you want to wear? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's interesting. I actually chose this morning sleeves, no sleeves, and then a, a cotton or one of those shiny, silky ones. Mm-hmm. Dry know. fit. I do, the dry fit kind. I actually made a choice today. Okay. Uh, I would do that. Uh, what, what are you doing this weekend, Joe? I don't have any plans. Oh, mm-hmm. well, no plans. Can't, uh, hang out, can't out, hang out with Spanish, so I know if he works here or not. Uh, by the <laughs> way, Spanish is going to see Sunrise. You guys would be going to see Sunset Correct, if you did that. Right. If we do it right, we'd be going to They're see both Sunset free, and Sunrise. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 Pulling all night which one's more expensive, Joe? No, neither one. <laughs> they're, they're pretty much even. Yeah, they're free. <laughs> all right, so Saturday at, uh, from noon, noon to two? Yes, correct. Sloppy, Sloppy Joe's. Joe's. Chad going to go? Probably. He yeah. usually plans on it, but like the... These past couple of weeks, he's getting busy with uh, football and stuff. Oh, yeah. So, like, last la- last week, last minute, he had to bail out. Um, so, but hopefully, I like when he goes because then I can drink. But yeah. <laughs> All right, good. That's a Saturday. Carmen at Slobber Droves down to the beach. Mm-mm. My wife's going to be down at the beach. Different beach, but she'll be there all weekend. But I don't think she, I don't think they're going to go to the beach. It's going to be cold as hell this weekend. Mm. 
I think right? it's back in the 80s, though. What's going on? Oh, for Beach on the Week? Weekend? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just this week. So you're solo all week? All weekend? All weekend. Oh, all right. All right. All on an weekend. anniversary weekend. That's great. That's what I said. She she was uh, she was like, hey, I have a problem. I said, what? And she goes, Chrissy's coming with her son. And I go, oh, good. I, I love that kid. You know. And she's like, yeah, but it's on our anniversary. I go, what's the problem? Yeah. Go, what do you, what oh, do you think? I'm going to cry? Because we're not alone and holding hands and gonna force sex that <laughs> night because we have to because it's our anniversary. I was like, I'm good. We'll see. I'll see you on Monday. Yeah. Yeah. So well, maybe I'll go to Universal one day. I got passes now. Yeah. So maybe we'll do that. Take your kids. Um, I'm assuming you're watching the kids. No, 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 no. My daughter will be with my wife. Maybe Joey will want to go. Uh, here's something you may want to do that's going on right now. You want to be a Santi? The Renaissance Festival is happening. Yeah, oh. but it's in Dade City, isn't it? Oh, is it? Did they move it? Like they, well, it used to be over by USF. Right, by Mosey. Yeah, it's not there this year. No, I, I drive by it's there. It's up in Dade City. I don't to take a walk oh, really? to go to Dade City. Mm. But I do like the Renaissance Festival. Yeah. A little salty. It's been a minute since we've been there. Right? Yeah, it is yeah. Dade City, right? Dade City, yeah. yeah. I yeah. can't even a, imagine where. I need a leather blur, uh, bracelet. Oh. You know? Well, if I go, I'll get you one. Okay. Extra small. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a break, get the show moving this morning. I see the phone lines lighting up for Sporkle. When we come back, Carmen will tell us what we have to give away, and then we will play that game for you, where I believe I'm going for 12 in a row today. Probably nope. not. I don't know what it is. Three. Three in a row. No. Oh. All right, we'll do that next. It's a Mike Calta show. This is 102.5 The Bone. Now, Carmen? Yes. What do we have to give away today? We have so many tickets. We have tickets for Bush Gardens, Bill Maher, Rays vs. Jays, XFC 50, and Hailstorm. All right. Let's do it right now with a little bit of sparkle. Here we go. No. Yeah. How predictable. It's rigged. How it's rigged. Yep. 100%. <laughs> I've been saying it forever. <laughs> I knew it. I was on the wrong one. Carmen is a keeper of Sporkle. Pat Pap is your judge and scorekeeper. Pat Pap has been doing a great job with it. Thank you, Michael. No problem. <laughs> Carmen, what are we playing today? Just so you know, Mike is going for three. Yeah, I already see. Just making sure everybody integrity. else knows. All right, today we're going to play Begins and Ends with M. Okay, so I'm going to mm. give you a clue. You're going to give me the word that begins and ends in M. All right. Mm. Mm. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Here we go. Word for a woman who manages a brothel. Madam. Mike. And just so you know, this is a short one, so get All your right. points in. Yeah, uh -huh. get your points and don't wait yeah. till later. A smaller, modest amount. Modicum. Minimum. Mike. Person through whom communication with... Medium. Mike. Oh, come on. Culinary herb from the mint family. Culinary herb from the mint family. Maloom. Majorum. Uh, that's close. In physics, this has the symbol P. Begins and ends with M. Momentum. <laughs> what is it? Momentum. Momentum. Geo. Oh. Element with the atomic number 12. Magnesium. Ah, oh, yeah. You were in the Spanish house? You showed yeah, up there? Yeah, yeah. Me and Brother Mark. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your next one. A very powerful whirlpool. Also, a Marvel comic book character. A very powerful whirlpool. Also, a Marvel comic book character begins and ends with M. Mm, Magneto. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Maelstrom. Oh, yeah. Is who I was looking for. And Pap Pap, we're halfway there. Galvin and Gio are both tied. They have a single point. Michael is your leader right now. He's ahead with three. <gasps> All right. Begins and ends with M. Your next one, TV private investigator. Magnum. Pap, pap. Galvin. Galvin gets the point. To gain pleasure from receiving the pain. Masochism. Galvin. Edible fungus or a... Mushroom. Galvin. Oh, really? Mushroom. Oh. 
Pap pap. Yes, that was Galvin. All right. An X-ray Man of him. Galvin. I was waiting for that one. Was it boob? Were you gonna say boob? <laughs> I was gonna say breast. Oh. Booby. <laughs> A period of a thousand years. Millennium. Mike. Period of European art during the 16th century. Modernism. Modernism. Wait, what did you say, Galvin? I said modernism. Yeah, modernism. Modernism. Uh, I meant those, modernism. Those are both wrong. Oh. Excuse well, me. That guy try again? I know what it is. No. I know cannot. what it is, though. You said the wrong thing. I don't know. Mike. Minimalism. Oh. Oh. Mannerism. Oh, that's wrong. No points. No points. <laughs> and Pep Pep. Oh. We are on the last three. Gio has a single solitary point. Michael is four, and Galvin is your leader. He's winning with five. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. Begins and ends with M. Last three. Here we go. A design consisting of two or more letters. Monogram. Gio. Ooh. A computer phone link. No double. Galvin. Oh. And your last one. An institution which houses a collection Museum. of artifacts. Geo. Gosh darn darn. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> What'd you say? Gosh darn darn? Gosh darn darn. Your final score. Geo with three points. Michael with four. And Galvin is your triumphant champion today. He won with six. Kachaya! It was a good comeback win. Streaks, <laughs> Leia! I was celebrating you. You don't have to rub it in. <laughs> Maelstrom. Damn it. Maelstrom. 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 Yeah. Not minimalism. Not modernism. Mannerism. Momentumism. Mannerism. What is it? What was it? Mannerism? Mannerism. Mannerism. I don't like it. I don't even think I've ever heard that before. Hmm. Everybody holds their hands like this. I'm not I doubting don't. you, Carmen. I'm just saying. Yeah, like, I got gotcha. you. No, you're fine. M A N N E R I S M. Yeah. Well, listen, mm. I know. He said, not, he said we're not doubting you. Listen, I, I heard the doubt. You don't have no. to say you're doubting me no. to know no. that you're doubting. The doubt term to... mannerism describes the style of paintings and bronze sculptures. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Suck it, Gio. Style of Europe. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you did. I can hear you, Hino. Yeah, Gio. Yeah. Gio is creating doubt. Oh. Just creating doubt. Always. Mm. Such a. <laughs> uh, it's <laughs> mannerism part two. Oh. Oh. My oh, bad. Yeah. My buzzer wasn't working. Mm. <laughs> oh, anyway. All right. Well, good job, Galvin. Thank you. You slayed my streak. Uh, I'll go line four. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, yeah. I got to log in. Take me forever. Mm, that's all right. <laughs> so, you know, I don't want to use my mail at work anymore because they keep tricking me. <laughs> right, oh. right. And uh, yesterday, they sent me a thing again, and I caught it. So I shouldn't have to go take those classes, right? I already figured it out. Yeah. For the next one. Yeah. You got to take the class. I'm not taking it. I, everything that they send me that I don't want to read, I say is fishing. Yeah. Yep. And then yeah. anything that I think is fishing, I say is fishing. And then everything else I delete. Yeah. And that's the other thing. If you just delete something without reading it, that still doesn't count. And also, though, like, why are you clicking on any link? I don't think there's been one no, link that's been sent to, that's been sent to me. But that's why you got to take the class. If you've clicked a link or something, that means that I really click- did think John Brennan was sending me a four thousand dollar check. <laughs> but so I, I clicked the link. <laughs> you I'll don't. be honest. Okay. <laughs> Whenever it said it was from John Brennan and said, "Hey, George." <laughs> yeah, it did. Yeah. yeah. You should sue them and say, "John, yeah. my boss said that I was getting four thousand dollars." Yeah. I said to John, "I go, I don't understand." I go, "It's from your email, and they're sending it to us and stuff." So they're using you, and he was like, "Yeah, I don't like that they're using my email." He goes, "Can now you guys won't look no. at emails yeah. that I send?" I go, "Yeah." I go, "I don't appreciate your ruse." But also, <laughs> if you look at it, there's one. Th- Thing in his email that's no. not right. No. Yes, no. I'm tell- this yeah. one the email. No, this one wasn't. In the morning. This one wasn't, Carmen. I because I even copied it and I sent it to him. I go, look at that. That's your email. They Did- usually uh, misspell Brennan. Nope. Did okay. He called me yesterday, and I go, "How do I know this is you?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> AI, <laughs> okay. just hang up. Prank caller, prank caller. <laughs> what do we have coming up in news, Galvin? Uh, coming up in news today: the internet is fine. Backdoor and. Fat Pockets. Oh, Ooh, I love Fat Pockets. Broccoli yeah. and cheddar. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Microwave mm-hmm. for a little while. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, hot Pockets. Yeah, Hot Pockets. They were so good. 
you don't we, uh, you don't get them anymore. Like you don't nobody buys them anymore. They still exist. We, yeah, yeah, because we found out there was like plastic and metal in them or something like that. Like there was. That's like, what makes it good. Bad, there was uh, a big story that came out that like the ingredients was. Awful. Yeah, oh. listen, don't look at what's in your food because no. you're not going to be Yes! <laughs> eight, you should definitely look what's Can't in your food. Can't macros that way, Gummin. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, usually every food documentary starts out with, these foods were banned in 22 other countries, <laughs> and, but they're sold in the United States every day. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I've uh, been getting that uh, a, a meal service that sends you and you just microwave the meals yeah. and do that stuff. Uh, and they have all these different things. I am so simple. Like I'll look at some of those, and they'll be like, "It's a ginger jasmine." I uh, relax. You're, you're already out. I can tell you, you're already. Out. I don't need all that. So literally, this last, I just get like six meals per week, and I ordered all six meals the same. Oh, I go, right. I'm sure I'm gonna it's get exactly sick. Like. I'm sure I'm gonna get sick of this, but for now, this is what I want. Yeah, yeah, that's how it is. I um. I made I made dinner last night. I've been cooking every night. Yeah, huh? yeah. I don't know. I like to cook. I like it. Yeah, you, I like to cook. Yeah. I made uh, salmon last night with uh, some broccoli. Oh, and uh, why? <laughs> I bet it smelled oh. horrible. It makes me Gio. that makes me angry at my wife that you cooked that. Yeah. The minute broccoli goes, in, I have those steam fresh bags. The minute it oh. goes into the microwave, it smells like we just sit in the room and fart together for yeah. an hour. With the salmon, which smells horrible as well, and oh, the no. gar- oh, delicious. It was good. It was good. My wife, the, oh. I'm just getting angry. <laughs> and I had a little scallops, scallops oh. on the salmon. I think good. How'd you cook the scallops? Uh, same way I cooked the salmon in the broiler. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, man, what's better, scallops or scallop potatoes? Oh, see, I'm a fan of scallops. We're real scallopini. Yeah. I love scallops, but the problem is you got to cook them in like a tub of butter to make them delicious. I, I didn't at all. I just I put them on the plate around the salmon and just broiled them. Well, Gordon Ramsay would yell at you. Yeah, that's but, wrong. I, Gordon Ramsay spends uh, you know half hour pouring butter on steak. Yeah, yeah, that, exactly. that's yeah. Just a, and it's delicious. Oh, of course it is. <laughs> but you need a human hand if you put that much time and and butter on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what's for dinner tonight. Hand. <laughs> All right, let's take a break. Galvanizer News. We'll do that next on one hundred two five The Bone. And now, news with Galvin on the Mike Calter Show. What do we have in news today, Galvin? Uh, today's news is brought to you by Pelt Shoes. Celtic Cruise is 15 days, 3 hours, 52 minutes, 58 seconds, 57, 56. Wow. Oh, yeah. So close. Uh, if you need some new cruise shoes, stop into Pelt Shoes. They have all the different styles of brands you're looking for, including Sperry. They've got those. They've got the uh, Birkenstocks. They've got the Hey Dudes, Flip Flops. Uh, all the different shoes you need for the cruise. Of course, you don't have to be going on the cruise to stop at the pelts. They have uh, athletic shoes. They have dress shoes. They have boots. They have heels, sandals, everything right there in stock, ready to go. And pelts has six locations throughout Pinellas, Sarasota, and Fort Myers. Stop into a pelts today and make sure you tell them Galvin from the Mike Kelta show sent you. <laughs> Hello, Joe. <laughs> Joe. Joe's going to set Galvin's camera up and I smash his arm. <laughs> uh, Texas. How do you say a plural Texas? Like if Texas is doing Texas's plan. Texas's government. Right? It's not uh, like is a possessive. It the is Texan it? government. No, but it's not Texan. Texas's government. Do you actually say the extra S or do you go Texas, Texas governor? Texas. Texas plans to arrest. Yeah, so it would be Texas. Texas plans. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, as a state, Texas plans. I thought you meant like if it's like if I if you were to say to me, um, what is Texas's number one import or export, and I'd say uh, Texas exports cattle. But yeah, but Texas do you say it that import. way, or would you say what's the number one import from Texas? Yeah, no, I would not. I would try yeah, to Texas avoid is. it. Like that, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I don't but think I add the S. It's funny because whenever yeah. I read it, I go, "Is it Texas's?" So but it would be Texas. When you, well, if I text somebody, if I'm in a text conversation, I always say text. I don't say text. Like I was text, he sent me a bunch of texts. What if somebody sent you the text? Do you say they texted me or they, no, they text, text? They text me. Me. Yeah, I say text. Mm. I don't really know what's right. Yeah. Yeah. Texas. Texted me <laughs> sounds wrong. <laughs> uh, Texas plans to uh, arrest migrants suspected of entering the U.S. illegally were on uh, again on hold on Wednesday after setting off uncertainty along the border and anger from uh, Mexico flared during a brief few hours that the law was allowed to take effect. A late night order last night from the Fifth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals uh, temporarily put on hold again. Texas dramatic state expansion into border enforcement. 
Earlier in the day, the U.S. Supreme Court had cleared the way for strict immigration law dealing with the victory, uh, dealing a victory to Republican Governor Greg Abbott uh, and encouraging GOP lawmakers in other states that are pushing for similar measures. But later, a two to one order in appeals court panel continued the legal seesaw surrounding the Texas law, again, putting it on pause ahead of oral arguments that were scheduled for today. It was uh, not clear how quickly the next decision might come. Texas's law. Texas's law. Yeah, it's hard to, it's hard to say. <laughs> Texas. All I can hear is Beyonce in my head as you're telling the story. This ain't Texas. Yes. Woo! This and, ain't no Texas. Texas. And I hear all my exes live yeah. in Texas. <laughs> Texas is. <laughs> what about taxes? Oh. Have you paid your taxes? I have not. Uh, I need to do my. I'm late to the game this year. My oh, tax? really? I, I, it's so uh, funny. It's not like I'm like, oh, God, I need the refund and hurry up. I just get it done immediately. Yeah, so like, as I. soon as I get it, I just send it over to DeMarco. Yeah, but what are you sending him? I'm not. I don't have a lot of stuff. Yeah, that's I. That, I'm avoiding it because I got to. Yeah, I don't have LLCs together. and I don't have this and that. Whatever I have, you know. Yeah, yeah. not a lot of stuff. So it's easy. Uh, speaking of having a lot of stuff, a lot of money. Mackenzie Scott, who is the ex-wife of Amazon's Jeff Bezos, uh, when she pledges to give away money, she gives away money big time. She just announced that she's giving away six hundred and forty million dollars, split among a uh, small three hundred and sixty-one nonprofits. Scott gave away more than two billion dollars last year. Yeah. Uh, nearly four billion in 2022, and she is still worth over 36 billion dollars. That's oh the way I would be. God. I would be giving away money left and right because you you don't need it. Yeah, you can keep a hundred million dollars and give away the rest. Well, I mean, look, just look at this. Okay, so she gave away uh, uh, almost seven billion dollars, and she still has 36 billion. Right, and the thing is, is that you know she's probably a wonderful person. I don't know her at all, but she's also doing this for tax reasons. It's not like she's just yeah. uh, she's getting rid of that money because she's got to she's got to balance the money she's that she has. Yeah. Do you think she does it also despite uh, Jeff Bezos? Hundred percent. I just blowing your money. You looks him right in the eyes. He hands it to somebody else. <laughs> I would think though that if she was doing that to piss him off, she'd be giving it to people that would specifically make yeah, him mad. Like you know? Elon right. Musk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's giving money to him. He needs it. Yeah. Needs Enjoy your yacht and your supermodel girlfriend, loser. Yeah. <laughs> she's uh, she's actually not bad looking. And I like her. She's got a mouthful of teeth. Oh, her? Yeah. Yeah. Mackenzie. <laughs> Mackenzie. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. She's, she's, got, she's, got, she's got gums and teeth she for days. I, yeah, I, but he definitely fan. upgraded. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, he, got a, he went to a model. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. He upgraded. I, I got to see what she looks like. I can't remember exactly what she looks like. Joe's got. Oh her. yeah, she's yeah. she's a bit of a plain Jane, right? Uh, yeah, is she English. What is she English? No, I think she's American. Mm-hmm. She looks English, but she's got a good mouth of choppers. Uh, <laughs> no. Good. Yeah, I wouldn't say good. Yeah, well, I like that. I mean, same for I like a little Joker. Yeah, mouth. but you like uh, yeah Joker mouth and big teeth, but yeah. her teeth are look a little. By the way, she's uh, from California. I don't know. Francisco. Maybe maybe se- spend uh, put a billion two million yeah. two dental. million on your teeth. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, up. but once you're worth, it's almost like, uh, what is it, like Will Ferrell. Once you're rich and famous, who cares? No, but I think Will Ferrell also, that lends to him being funny and weird and all that stuff. If he had, like, yeah. perfect teeth, then it's not as funny. It's like, you know, some of the comedians, they're, like, worried if they uh, go from fat to skinny. Are people going to still think I'm funny if I do this, if I, you know, wind up looking good or whatever? It, it changes things. And people uh, notice, Carmen. People uh, notice teeth all the time. And for yeah, sure, for sure, for sure, singers. Singers don't oh, want to yeah. mess with their mouth. No. no. You never know. That Snaggletooth may me making Freddie Mercury, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, look at him. Yeah. He had more teeth in his head than any human or whatever it was. I don't know if that's true or not, but he had a big old mouth and a bunch of teeth in there. You start changing that around, and does that affect your voice? Because I've noticed uh, so many great singers have giant mouths. Really? Well, think about it. Like yeah. Carly Simon, Steven Tyler, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, Freddie yeah, Mercury. Yeah. Like, yeah. all these people have these big, giant mouths. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know, what, I don't know how that works, but it's science. <laughs> uh, so she has uh, still has thirty six billion dollars. Mackenzie Scott does. Does someone have a bunch of money from the Mega Millions? It was last night. Did you get your ticket? I, I did. Even reminded I did not you. win. How do you know? Uh, because I looked at the, the ticket. Hmm. When did you look at it? This morning? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, "What are you talking about?" They tell you whether or not your numbers came up or not. Do you know who won? I I know. Uh, no, I know two people won. Do you know what the next jackpot is? No. Neither do I. It's not available. Why? 
because oh, I guess they so have a, someone won. Yeah, well, there were two million dollar winners for yeah, the Powerball. But, but I'm oh. saying like oh. the actual oh. jackpot. Did somebody win the actual jackpot? We don't know. The whole thing's rigged. I've been, tell- <laughs> I've been telling you guys this forever. <laughs> yeah, so we don't know whether somebody actually won the jackpot because they don't say what the next one available, how much it is. So but usually may- they say if there's a winner or not. Yeah, yeah. immediately. Like yeah. two yeah. tickets in California. They're always in California, by the way. Right. Yeah, yeah, and it's always some. Um, Name that you can't pronounce, yep. and you know, there's 88 years sta- old and- from the same gas station, yeah. yeah. So, Maria, Texas is one from California, yeah. So, I don't know, I'm holding on my ticket, I'll check. If I know. win and it's like 300 million that I get, I'm gonna give Mackenzie Bezos some of that money. By the way, I found another scratch off on the uh, on the ground that was a $15 winner. What? What? No way, yeah. Where are you doing this when I'm running? In the woods? <laughs> no, no, no. This was, yesterday. I was uh, I was on the road, so I actually found it on the road. Yeah. You were running, yeah, and again, just saw a scratch up on the floor. Oh, I see. I see. There's stuff all over the ground. All and you're the time, like, I'm just gonna take a look at this one, and there's another one. I, I, I I've cannot. Done that before. I cannot bring myself to go past a scratch off without picking it up. I picked up a scratch off to see if it was a winner before. I have yeah. to. Was it? No. I mean, he got two. <laughs> I think I've had more. I yeah. think I've had more than two. <laughs> That's so. Weird. I think people are baiting you. Here he comes. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, there's just video of going over yeah. and over and over. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Just a big net falls on me. Sasquatch. Yeah. <laughs> Will he pick it up this time? Yeah. I um, have to. Yeah. I can't go past it. I don't know. I'm going to ask everyone to grab their phone. Okay. No, oh, no. I don't really know if you want to do this, though. I'm going to uh, warn you before you look at it. All right. This was sent to me through somebody from Snapchat last night. It is a guy in Northport. Oh, I saw oh, it. I saw I it. Saw yeah. It. Oof. And he is uh, asking people if you see roadkill to let him know because uh, he enjoys fresh roadkill. Uh, and he's right outside of the Welcome to Northport sign. And he is eating what appears to be a, a possum. I, I, I'm thinking fake, fake fish. Yeah, I don't know what. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Okay, what I can't get figure sick out. Off of that. I, I don't understand because he just is. has it in, in the video. And he's just eating it. It could be anything. We he's, don't know what but it is. he's eating it like off the ground. He's picking it up, yeah. and then biting it and eating into it. Look, it could be. I think it's some kind of internet prank. Whatever it is, it I saw gross. it. And it grossed me out, and I had to share that with our listeners. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty gross. It's pretty horrendous. I almost want to say don't watch it, but you're going to want to see it. Uh, by the way, Carmen, a lot of people eat roadkill, not necessarily pick it up and like just you right, know, start eating it. and stuff. They cook it and do that stuff. Yeah, but you also, they, like they, you know, country folk go out there and like, oh, it's oh, still yeah. fresh. This was uh, within the last couple hours. Yeah. And, you know, cook it up. Yeah, I wouldn't take that chance. I, I, I bought like, that at a book fair one time, a roadkill cookbook. Yeah. Like it was a real legit from the 60s roadkill cookbook. True mm-hmm. or false? I was in a band called Roadkill. I mean, I'd have to say true. False. It's true. No, it's true. (laughs) Yeah. It was in a band called Roadkill. How about that? I think there was a lot of people in a band. (laughs) (laughs) I get it. Carmen, I have not stopped uh, thinking about uh, Death Eater. I think that's such a great name (laughs) for a metal band. I mean, it really is. That's a good name. Death Eater. Harry Potter, man. Uh, Anybody doing the uh, the, uh, intermittent fasting? Have you tried that at all? Intermittent eating. I'm doing that. So a study found intermittent fasting might be bad for your heart. People who followed a 16-8 eating schedule had a 91% higher risk of dying from cardiovascular disease. Uh, That's where you eat for eight hours and then fast for 16. It's not clear uh, why that would be the case since other research has found that intermittent fasting can lower blood pressure and cholesterol. They noted that the study didn't really prove anything. They just found an association between eight-hour eating window and cardiovascular death. Uh, So they're saying, yeah. 91%, that's a lot. (laughs) Yeah, but they're trying to scare you. Yeah. I, uh, I talked to my foot doctor yesterday about the fungus toe. Yeah. And I said, here's the problem. I could I see the commercial and it says, "Hey, take this pill and you take it." But then it like this pill has been proven to oh, cause yeah. heart attacks and the death and you night know, terrors, yeah, and mental capacity, like explosive diarrhea, yeah, bleeding from yeah. areas. I'm like, I'm good with a cloudy toe, and he just was like, they have to say that. I'm like, I know it, but it just seems like quite the risk for a cloudy toe. Uh, also, um, I wrote it down because I forgot, but I can't get these terms out of my head. Newman cockle pneumonia, is mm, that what it is? Mm, mm. Yeah, okay. that one. And there's another one which, thankfully, I can't think of right now. But they're they're phrases that are being forced down our throat through these pharmaceutical commercials. I've never heard of pneumonia cockle pneumonia until I don't even know what the beginning part means. I see the commercial. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. I've seen the commercial yeah. so many times. I'm like, do I have that? I don't, you know. 
Well, like the big one for women is endocrinosis or mosis or something like that. You know what I mean? Why do you do a crisis? Endocrinesis. I don't know, but it's just like it's a new thing that just popped up and now it's everywhere and yeah. every female has it. Oh. And it like, um, but it basically affects your like uterus. I know, but all it's so funny that all these terms and all these drugs, like I'm going to call my doctor and go, Hey, I need something to prevent pneumococcal pneumonia. And he's going to be like, you don't have pneumonia. I go, I know, but the TV has got yeah. everything. I, do. Yeah. I don't know. We it, should it, not be able to advertise medications in this country. Yeah, I but agree. Like, it's no. not, we can't go buy them either. No, well, that's no, true. No, but, but, but they your doctor it, should be telling you what you need. And yeah. You shouldn't be asking them. I went to Pat know, Orlando Community difference. College. Yeah. I don't think they do that in other countries. No, they do, they, they're not, not allowed to. Yeah, there's not paid advertisements for right. medication. Just like uh, you can't advertise cigarettes in this country. You're not even allowed to have equal. Carmen, just so you know, endocrinesis is a uh, term that's, uh, they're just uh, fancy enough. They're churching it up. It's a hormone imbalance. Is okay. What that is. Oh, yeah. Okay. But so I mean, now every, it's everywhere. Uh, by the way, every woman does have that. <laughs> <laughs> when, in Germany, we went to the gas station. There were dead babies on the packs of cigarettes. Yep. Yeah. Like they behind, do that in Canada, yeah, too. Mm -hmm. It was wild. Uh, pneumococcal pneumonia is a bacterial lung disease. While flu and cold are caused by viruses, in some cases, pneumococcal pneumonia can cause part of your lung to fill up with mucus, making it hard to breathe. So it's a different kind of but pneumonia. But is there, is there an influx of pneumococcal pneumonia? Uh, no, they just, you know, come up with something and then they, they're like, hey, you probably have this restless leg and all the different things, you know, that they yeah. say and go talk to your doctor about it. Buy the snake oil. <laughs> By the way, I, I know exactly what you're talking about with all the side effects and all the different things. There was one that I saw the other day, and it treated, I don't know what it treated. I can't remember what it was. Let's just say migraine headaches. It treated migraine headaches, and then it was listing the stuff. It may cause night terrors, may do this, it may cause migraine headaches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I saw it that. causes the thing that it's supposed to yes. stop. Or, or the medication that goes... And don't take blah, blah, blah. Sky if Rizzi. You, Sky Rizzi, yeah. If, if you're, you're allergic, allergic to Sky Rizzi. <laughs> yeah, yeah remember when you were growing up and you used to go out back and pick some Sky Rizzi yeah. off the tree and yeah. eat it? Yep. And you were like, yeah. the you're allergic to Sky Rizzi. <laughs> Break out hives. Uh, uh, excuse me, chef. Is there any Sky Rizzi yeah, in this pasta? I can't have any Sky Rizzi <laughs> on the table. <laughs> A uh, 37 year old father in Ohio is facing harassment charges after he kept calling his son's elementary school to complain about what? He was calling his son's elementary school. And he kept on calling them to complain about school lunch. The kids school lunch. Like the school lunch. Gross. Sloppy hot Joe. teachers. Hot teachers. You got too many hot teachers there. Uh, yeah. His kids being bullied. Bullied. Okay. The curriculum. Joe, you got it. Yeah. Actually, close. Okay. I mean, part of it. Too much homework. Hmm. He was uh, complaining that they're giving his kid too much homework. When they stopped picking up the phone, he called the cops 18 times. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, so now he's uh, up on charges for harassment. Well, Settle down. Settle that's down. where our kids are stupid. Yeah. I got to tell you, I remember my son when he was in like fifth, sixth grade in that area. Uh, they gave him so much homework. He would come home and he would have like three hours of homework. Yeah. It was so much. It was crazy. Yeah. Uh, then whenever he got to high school, he would do his homework in the class and get it done. Whenever they had like a free period, whatever, he would do his homework. And I go, did you finish your homework? And he goes, yeah, I already did in class. And he got all A's and everything. So it wasn't a problem. It wasn't like he wasn't doing it. But I remember that. I, I, and I thought about it. I go, you guys are giving them way too much homework. Yeah. I don't remember that much homework. I remember homework, but, but not, not like a, that much. Yeah, not a crazy amount. It's so funny because whenever I think back to school, I remember having homework, but I don't ever remember doing homework. <laughs> no, either no, do I. <laughs> that was the thing. I, I, I can't get mad at my summer who doesn't do homework because I don't remember ever doing anything. Yeah. I do uh, remember like you would copy the answers from somebody like the next morning. Yeah. Like, hey. I was, I was going to say, I was so lucky. My cousin Rachel and I were in the same grade. And we took majority of the same classes, and she was, you know, really smart and was a good student. So I would just wait, and the next morning or like right before class, I'd be like, "Can I see your paper, yeah. please?" Uh, and I would just copy all of her stuff and just change a couple answers. Yo, what's up? How come we never met your cousin Rachel? You have. She's been in studio before. Oh, and she the came, hot one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And she came to the Alien Pub crawl. Oh, why is she okay. coming on the cruise? Uh, because Barb did not invite her as her oh. plus one. Oh, Barb. Barb wanted her friend. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> What if Barbara's friend's smoking hot? Oh, she hasn't. Carmen's matter. That silence says she is not. 
That's not what I said. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Tell me she's not hot without telling yep. me she's not hot. Listen, she's a fun time. Oh, oh that's even worse. Great personality. Yeah. Ah, she's yeah. a mom. Listen, she's a mom, and they're both they're both moms, and they're both in their 40s. Carmen, so. not every girl has to be hot. Right. Yeah. She's jolly, is what you're saying? Yeah. She's fun. I'm saying she's fun. It's going to be a good time. Oh. You're going to be happy. She's a <laughs> handsome woman. Uh, whenever they're uh, Seinfeld, whenever they're eating the uh, frozen yogurt and they think it's fat free, but it's not. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 Kramer goes, "You're not jolly for a fat guy." <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, one of the drugs there that I I'm glad I kind of heard one of the I I it's you know they say may cause this may cause that. Mm. I got the uh, the Jimmy legs lately when I'm sleeping. Restless legs. Restless legs syndrome. I will get that not when I'm sleeping. Uh, I will get it every once in a while. Like if I'm sitting there watching TV and I have my legs up on the ottoman, every once in a while I'm like, all right, I got to yeah. get up and kind of stretch them and move around. I think that's normal. I think that's everybody. If you're sleeping, if you're laying down and you have it, yeah, I'm sure that would be very annoying. Well, Jimmy likes it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't like it. Uh, a study asked people about sex acts that they were most anxious about. What do you think? What different the- sex acts. Mm. That one, you think people are anxious about that? Yeah. Uh, that was. Uh, Number three, number three on the list. Yeah. What about a threesome? That was not on the. I only okay. have the top four here. What about Walmart parking lot? Um. Number one, public sex. Oh, yeah. Number one was uh, most anxious about public sex because yeah. if you're out in public and people can see you and what's going on, it's a hell of a gamble. All that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Where uh, have you and uh, Jamie had sex in public? In public? Yeah. No, nowhere. Ever? No. George ain't doing that. No. <laughs> no. Stick in the mud. That's what, my fault. What about you, Sandra? What? Where uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Listen, beaches. Oh, it's pronounced bitches. <laughs> bitches. <laughs> beaches, cars, you know, the norm. Playgrounds. Yeah. Nope. No, no playgrounds. No. The car is awkward. Yeah. Yeah, no. Awkward, like getting fit. Park. Oh, that's messed up. Uh, but I, I only banged the, my high school girlfriends in the car, and you'd have to park and get out, get in the back, and then all I could think about is Jason from Friday the 13th showing up and killing us. Mm. That gave me anxiety. Yeah. Hmm. I've done outside stuff. Yeah. yeah. With yourself or? Yeah. yeah the back yard. No, no, yeah. At the SPCA when he's walking the dogs. What's going on with those trails, man? What's yeah, really going what? on? Yeah, I, dude, you don't even know. I wish. <laughs> I, I, I'm waiting to see something. What I'm is waiting going to on? see something out there. I've lured you in with lottery tickets. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, I bend over to get a whoop. Oh, oh. Come on. You got me. Yeah, no, I I think about that all the time. Yeah. I'm like, I, what, what if I turn this corner and something's happening? What if you see the person that leaves the Playboys in the woods? Yeah. Uh, all right, so what do we got so far? Butt uh, stuff? So public sex is number one. Butt stuff uh, is uh, number three. Number three? Yeah. It's actually tied for number three. There's something else there, too. What are some of the other things? That people are uh, most anxious about when it comes to sex. Uh, gay stuff. Gay stuff. Uh, uh, everybody answered it once. You said gay stuff. No, that's not on there. Carmen, what'd you say? I said gay stuff too. You said gay stuff as well. <laughs> Bondage. Uh, BDSM was number two. Yeah, because yeah, you don't two. know. You don't know if you can trust the other person. Right. And if that you're the one the that's exciting part. If you're the one that's tied up, oh, no, man, no. Yeah. I, I remember reading a study, and they said that number one profession that is into BDSM, oh, number one, guess? yeah. Teachers or cops? Cops, number two, nurses. Okay. Yeah. Well, they both got the equipment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Uh, so, yeah, so pe- public sex, number one, BDSM, number two, followed by uh, backdoor stuff tied with rough sex. Mm. Mm. Make it rough. Mm. Okay. I have anxiety about making it rough. Uh, least intimidating, least intimidating uh, sex stuff. But uh, people were least anxious about uh, is solo masturbation. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Don't what? Be. Yeah, yeah. Don't you be. know what? Don't you know. You know what that means? You know. You know that's good. Beaches. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, so that's just easy. Yeah. That, by the way, that is amazing to me. That uh, you know, grow being younger, being single and stuff. The girls would be like. I'm not going to do that, but I'll do this. And yeah. I'm like, you're going to do that? I'm fine yes. with that. Don't <laughs> ruin it. Oh, no. I'm totally fine yeah. with it, too. But I'm like, that's so much worse. No, no, no. Don't ruin it. It's better, ladies. Yeah. That's wild. That's wild to me. I had sex in a beer, uh, in a beer cooler once. 
You did? Yeah. yeah. Oh, like a walk A walk okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like a Yeti. Like a Yeti. <laughs> yeah. a Yeti. Joe's a, in an igloo. <laughs> Joe, so did I. Where was yours? Uh, at a <laughs> Wait, bar. Wait, is that you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was me, Michael. <laughs> did you have long hair at the time? Uh, no. Was it Stormans? My, no, my, my hair was very short. My hair was very short. Uh, I bet one was at Stormans. Yeah. <laughs> Of course. Mm -hmm. huh? Wasn't it cold in there though? Freezing. Yes. <laughs> That's what made it great. Oh wow. Yeah. Sometimes though when a girl comes right. over to pick up the beer. Yeah. <laughs> you know, things happen. You like popsicles? <laughs> <laughs> uh is your inbox, your email inbox, is it uh, constantly full of unread emails? Well, lately oh, I've been a lot sure. better about uh, deleting and going through them and unsubscribing and blocking things, but yes. How many different part. emails do you have, though? Think about that. Like, you yeah. know, so everybody I have, has I work, like email. work and this and this. Yeah. I have my private personal email. I have an old private personal email and I have a uh, work email and a Gmail. Yeah. So, yeah, I got a lot. I'm looking yeah. at how many unread emails I have in my Cox Media Group email right now. 22,635. Oh, my God. They're all phishing scams. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah, because I have work email. I have two personal emails because I have an old one and then I have a Gmail. And then I have another one that's kind of work related that is a Gmail, though. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's too many emails. Overall, my phone says I have 95,000 unread emails. Jeez. See, that's why we can't get John Travolta on the show. Gio doesn't answer his emails. <laughs> uh, I'm nowhere, <laughs> I'm nowhere near as bad as you, <laughs> although I do not have my... Work email connected to this one. This is my other emails. Yeah. I have 11,481 yeah. unread. Oh, no, well, one of my emails oh, is, it's got tons and tons of spam, but I've had it for so long yeah. that it's hard to like filter that stuff out. How do you tell the unread ones? It says it right on the front. It'll <laughs> say, yeah. <coughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> That's the problem. Like, what <laughs> the, like when you open your screen right there on the front, it'll say. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, yeah. Boomer. I thought, well... <laughs> That means I'm oh. unread. I thought it meant just how many have No, it. that's unread. <laughs> oh, you shut up. <laughs> oh, it's it's got to be a big number. Listen, yeah. boomer. <laughs> I hate you. What? I thought that was my score, my what? email score. I thought, I thought I was doing good. <laughs> I'm a level 42. <laughs> you guys are all jerks. <laughs> Why don't you go watch the sunrise? Uh, well, it says a uh, study found that it can leave you feeling flustered and disorganized if you have a bunch of unread emails, and you're more likely to forget to respond to things or deal with stuff like uh, bill payment reminders or yeah. things that are important. You know, they get lost in the shuffle because you have so many different unread emails that you're like, oh, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. It gets pushed down and causes problems. And Geo, I'm not sure what uh, email you have that's like your spam. Mine is my Hotmail, mm -hmm. and I actually go onto the computer, log into my Hotmail, and I'll like uh, click it and mark them all red so it doesn't show as much, because I know they're all spam. Yeah, you, you know, from that. forever. But no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. A after you do it like uh, once, after you go through once, if you just do it once a month, it what it does it in one take. Mm. But okay. your first like when you're trying to get rid of ten thousand, like Geo's gonna have to. Yeah. It's gonna take like two or three times doing By the that. Way, the email I use for the show, there's twelve unread emails. They're right all from oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> I hate whenever you uh, go and you're like, I never subscribed to this. I don't yeah. know what's going yeah. on. Whatever. And then you go to unsubscribe and they go, Yeah, we can't do that right yeah. now. And you're like, I didn't even sign up. There is a, a thing that I, a soccer email that I've gotten for years. Happy feet soccer. Uh huh. And I signed up for this when my kids were literally four years old. Right. My kids are all teenagers now and have unsubscribed a million times. And I still get happy feet soccer emails. Happy feet, leave me the hell alone. <laughs> I do, my kids are grown now, man. Uh, happy one, feet, one, mad geo. Yeah. So I've done the, like uh, the unsubscribe. If it doesn't work, report it as junk. Oh yeah. And yeah. then it will go to your junk folder. So it won't. So at least it won't count as your unread messages. That's mm. what I do. What's your score on your email? Carmen? <laughs> what level Shut are up. you? My I score. All, I hate all of you. <laughs> uh, I'm an eight. Uh, Good. Uh, You're a six yeah. at best. <laughs> oh. You know what, Mister Zero? Uh, you know you probably may want to go to. Uh, uh, I almost said Felicia's. What is the name Bye, of the Felicia? What is the uh, Felicia's? Felicia's. Uh -huh. I almost said Felicia's. You may want to go back today. Happy National Ravioli Day! Oh, okay. I love a ravioli. Uh, what's best ravioli? Meat, cheese, mushroom. What do you cheese. like? Uh, pesto. What do meat. you want in there? Meat. Gotta be meat. Yeah, yeah. meat. Good. Yeah. Oh, meat good. see, I like a mushroom. Mushroom Ravi good too. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad.
Meat makes me think of like Chef Boyardee ravioli. Yeah, ravioli's got cheese inside it. That's what I like. Every once in a while, you get like a lobster ravioli oh, or something yeah. like that. Yeah, it's but good. if you get a good, good ravioli with a little cheese and Italian sausage yeah. in oh, there, yeah, yeah, I'm not mad at it. I just my go to is just cheese. Yeah. Mm. Good mm-hmm. stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so now I'm hungry. We have been talking about the uh, uh, what is the name of the uh, documentary? The uh, Quiet on the Set. Yes, Quiet on the Set. Nickelodeon. All the different stuff with Dan Snyder, the uh, the guy, the writer and executive producer and stuff, and then Mr. Pickles and everything. Uh-huh. So I think we all agree that Dan Snyder was just kind of a power hunger guy, and you know he was abusive, like a jackass, but he wasn't not doing, a molester, not a molester or anything. Well, he did an online interview the other day, uh, about a nine minute interview. And they asked him a few different things, so we have a few different clips here. So is, is, are they asking him questions pertaining to the documentary, or they just yes, happen to get one hundred percent? And he watched the documentary because if I were him, I would want to be out in the public right now defending myself. And I think that that's what this is: is you know, either he decided himself, or somebody said, "Hey, listen, you come off as a bad guy. You can apologize for being a bad guy, but you're not a child molester. You're not doing any of that stuff. So get take, out there and let take him know. the fact of what he's doing out of it. Take take that as a kid show." Yeah, like I, I felt this way about Ellen too. And people are like Ellen told me, Ellen was hugely successful, and she had a brand to protect. She had a job where other people's jobs depended on her, and and it's a very competitive job that she has. So it's going to be high anxiety, high tense, and she has to treat people like a leader. And sometimes that that comes across to these people as if they're getting blown off or they're not getting the right attention, and uh, or that person's you know got an attitude problem. I got to tell you, think about uh, your, just any of you, anybody listening right now, think of your normal day-to-day life and how many people come up with you with dumb stuff that you don't need to hear about or try and drag you in a meeting that you don't need to go in or anything like that. Now multiply that by a million because that's what Ellen's dealing with. So the fact that she has to go, hey, tell these people not to talk to me. You know what I mean? Tell them not to come up. It goes through you. You decide right. what needs to come to me, that type of stuff, whatever. Yeah, that makes complete sense. But people get butt hurt because yeah. well, I, people can't, definitely get I hurt. can't talk to Ellen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, guess what? Ellen's better than you. How about yeah. that? Also, even, don't work here. <laughs> I didn't say even our job, like when people like DM me, tell Galvin this, tell <laughs> Mike that. I'm sure they tried to tell you themselves and you guys didn't respond. So guess what? They yeah. probably don't care or want to hear it. What does me telling them going to do? Well, I'm going to ignore you as well as. You know, so Dan Schneider is uh, getting out in front of this and stuff, and he did watch the documentary because he talks about it. But uh, the the interviewer said before we jump into this, is there anything you want to say off the bat? This is what Dan Schneider okay. had to say. First clip. Watching over the past two nights was very difficult. To me facing my past behaviors, um, some of which are embarrassing and that I regret, and I definitely owe some people a pretty strong apology. So he said he owes people a pretty strong I'm apology. With that. And uh, then they went into uh, the massages because that was one of the big thing about him getting massages. And, uh, you know, and, and he was he was asking people for massages and people were claiming like on that, set. Yeah. And people are claiming now that they're like, we used to dread that he'd ask for a massage. But there's a lot of video and, and still pictures of him in his chair with his head back and somebody massaging his head or his neck. So he definitely was asking for what you could not do in today's environment. Right. And they're like, the, not masseuses. He was asking like No, no, no. Kids? People, no, yeah, no, they're adults. Yeah, but okay. it was people that worked on the set. Gotcha. Uh, and this is what he had to say about the massages. It was wrong. It was wrong that I ever put anybody in that position. It was the wrong thing to do. I'd never do it today. I'm embarrassed that I did it then. I apologize to anybody that I ever put in that situation. And even additionally, I apologize to the people who were walking around Video Village or wherever they happened because there were lots of people there who witnessed it who also may have felt uncomfortable. So I owe them an apology as well. Yeah, it seems like he's taking saying a mature right approach things. to it, saying right. all the right things. Yeah, and There's been it, no no allegations of, of anything against him other than uh, maybe some innuendos in the show's but I'll tell you that justice show, the Victoria Justice show, it had some underlying themes about boobs and other stuff. But it was also a tween type of show. Mm. It was aimed at kids who were kind of like right before being official teenagers. And if they heard Puberty. that joke, they'd be like, "Oh, yeah, my God. yeah." yeah. You know? and, and it was subtle enough to where it wasn't like. Uh, but you got like a forty-year-old man that's writing that stuff. And the yeah, kids are just but reading it. But I think that that they kept that stuff out of the the iCarly's and put it into the justices you know what yeah. i mean like it's a different age group that you're aiming at with those shows but they did not keep it out of the iCarly's that's the thing they were putting it in all the shows 
Yeah, well, I don't, I don't recall. I, don't, I just don't remember what they did with iCarly. Well, the one clip that I saw the iCarly thing was her on her knees with the water fountain, and the right. water fountain was shooting across, and yeah. she had her mouth open, uh, and it was going in. I was like, whoa. Yeah, but there's something also, if you take the, the, the thought out of it, there's something also that's very comical for years of people getting squirted in the face with a smell my flower squirt you in the face. Yeah, they used to do the seltzer bottles and right. all that yeah. stuff. Right. Yeah, but also whenever you're putting it in that context, you look at it and you go, sure. yeah, right. Right. get on your weird. knees. Yeah, oh, that seems weird. Uh, and then the uh, final clip here is uh, him talking about the writer's room and the situation they put in because he was, well, I guess uh, not necessarily him, but he was brought in the lawsuit and the lawsuit against. Uh, well, he was, he was a showrunner and. The uh, there was a woman who filed a suit against them, and uh, and then she filed the suit because she was the only female there. Well, she was a female, and they had two females, so they split one salary between oh, right. the two was, females. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then they hired another guy and brought him in, younger full guy, salary. less experience, and gave him full salary. And this lady was like, "This is ridiculous." Yeah. Now, uh, so here he is talking about the writers' room and stuff that went on in there. Let me just say, no writer should ever feel uncomfortable in any writer's room, ever, period, the end, no excuses. Most TV writers, comedy writers have been in writer's rooms and they are aware that a lot of times there are inappropriate jokes made and inappropriate topics come up. Uh, but the fact that I participated in that, especially when I was leading the room, um, it embarrasses me. I shouldn't have done it. I hate that anybody worked for me and didn't have a good time. Look, I've had some employees that have worked for me for 10 years, some more than 20 years, who would work with me again, but um, not everybody. There's a still a significant number that didn't have a great time working for me, so my batting average isn't nearly high enough in that area. Watching that show, it made me, there were so many times I wanted to pick up a phone and call some of those people and say, I'm so sorry and let's talk about it and I, I wish you'd had a better time and I wish I could have shown you a better experience. So uh, he seems like he, he seems like he's being genuine. He's not in trouble for anything, right? And he's saying all the right things, and I think he is embarrassed by it, like he said. And uh, you know, uh, the follow up is: Does he contact these people and say, "Listen, I've had some time to reflect on it, and yeah, I absolutely owe you an apology." Yeah, because he says there's been times where I wanted to pick up the phone, I want to apologize. Well, the next step is actually doing it. So we'll yeah, see what happens. If you're supposed to do it, or, if or legally, to, sure, they may yeah, go yeah, just sure. Well, you have these shows are what it happened 15 years ago. Yeah. Ten, so it's like it's a different world. It, it seems like he, he's he's doing it now, obviously, because it came to the forefront with the documentary. Yeah, it wasn't like he was thinking about this and like you know I was that was probably wrong back yeah, then. Yeah, because he he could have said uh, at, at any time he could have said yeah. By the way, uh, about 12 years ago, I called and apologized yeah. for my actions. Yeah, yeah, but I think that I think that he is not realizing that. So many people, even when he said out of the writers' room, he's like he didn't know that there were so many problems until this documentary. Yeah, came I think yeah. there's a little bit of both. We don't know because we don't know him. So yeah, I, it sounds like he's doing the right stuff. Whether he's sincere, who knows? Whatever. But uh, Listen, pretty having worked with big fat idiots before, I know. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I know that he. I've even worked with big fat idiots who who said, you know what, I was wrong. I. I screwed up. I shouldn't have done this, but but then they go back to doing it anyway. So you never know if this guy's going to change his mind. And tried to get you to massage his head. Yeah. Oh my god. <gasps> right. Forgot my about head. that. Whoa. That's wild. That is wild. I forgot about that. Ooh. That's abuse, Michael. <laughs> no, I, thankfully, it wasn't abuse. Yeah. Uh, Lollapalooza 2024. Anybody excited about that? It's going to include headliners: Blink 182, SZA, Tyler the Creator, The Killers. And Hosier. That that sounds like a great lineup and what Lollapalooza used to be. You've got rock, you've got alternative, yeah. you've got uh, hip hop. I think that's great. Uh, the four they day, only do one, right, in Chicago? Yeah, the four-day festival kicks off August 1st at uh, Grant Park in Chicago. Well, that's where it was created, and that's where it's always been, just the... Uh, right, but I mean, I saw it in Miami two years. They took it on they tour? They okay. tour, yeah. yeah. Yeah, now I think they just do it in Chicago. Yeah, yeah no thanks. Same. Yeah. Uh, Beyonce officially unveiled the cover art for her new album, and she's uh, sitting side saddle on a white horse. Yeah. We have a picture on Bone TV there with a red and white, uh, red, white, and blue outfit on, holding the American flag. She's also wearing a, uh, a white stilettos, a white cowboy hat, and a sash that says Cowboy Carter. She says, I feel honored to be the first black woman with a number one single on the Hot Country chart. Hot, hot, country song chart uh my hope is that years from now the mention of an artist's race as it relates to releasing genres of music will be irrelevant act two cowboy carter will be released on march 29th all right i like it i like the song i like beyonce 
I'm not mad at it at all. It's funny how many people are mad at oh, it. How many people are mad about the song? It's a catchy song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was thinking about it this morning. Yeah. I, I mean, and I said, like I said before, whenever we first heard it the first time, I said, yeah, if this was Gretchen Wilson, nobody yeah. would have a problem. It's Beyonce switching genres and stuff. She's r- literally doing a reverse Taylor Swift. That's right. She's going Taylor into went country. from country yeah. into pop. She's pop going into country. Yeah. But my thing is, is she mentions, like, I hope race doesn't come up in the future. But where she literally mentioned she's the first black woman. Yes, yeah. Like, yeah. if you're going to say, I don't want it to be a part of the thing, then why are you making it a part of your thing? Well, uh, the way she's it, saying it, I yeah. believe, is that she's honored it. to be the first black woman. But hopefully, we don't even worry about that in the future. Is I there, get it, but I just think it's. Yeah, yeah. Do we think there's any significance that she's dressed all in white on a white horse? Oh, I think she's using it to yeah. her advantage for sure. But, you know, look. Uh, I, it's a good song. That's all I care about. I like yeah. it. Mm-hmm. I like seeing people upset. It's funny. Yeah, it's funny too. to me. Uh, how about this, man? This guy was on the uptick for sure, like doing great stuff, doing all kind of different movies. He was for for like a month. He was in every movie that came out. Uh, Jonathan Majors, his ex girlfriend, is now suing him for battery, assault, intentional infliction of emotional distress, malicious prosecution, and defamation. This guy cannot catch a break. Man. No, she's really. This has she been got happening him. for a while. She yeah. got him kicked off of that last movie, right? Well, yeah. I don't know whether this is a, a different one or what, but there's yeah, there's been a few different accusations and uh, different stuff happening with this guy. It's, it's yeah, one time it's them, two times maybe mm-hmm. them, three times. Mm-hmm. Well, there's some truth there. Mm-hmm. Uh, she is now. I don't know whether she's still dating the puppet or not. But Ariana Grande, she settled her divorce. She is. She's still NBC, dating. I read the headline. I'm moving forward with her with her ma- a- a relationship she's in now. Uh, mm. Any guy listening right now, if there's a girl that you're like, oh, she's out of me, like, go and talk to her yeah. because Ariana Grande is dating what looks like a Charlie McCarthy doll that came to life. Yeah. It's unbelievable. It probably has a squeaker voice than she does. Yeah, but uh, she settled her divorce. She is giving her ex husband a one time payment. Of how much? Five million dollars. Well, you want to let's look up and see what Ariana okay. Grande is worth. All right, that makes more sense. So she's doing a one-time lump sum payment to her ex-husband. Uh, her net worth is let's see. I'm going to say fifteen million. I say she's worth twenty, and she's giving away oh, five. No, she's she worth is like worth hundred. No, she is worth two hundred and forty million dollars. Oh, yeah. I forget about the Disney money. Two hundred and forty million dollars. She is giving her ex-husband a one-time payment of twenty-five million. Twenty-five million. Two million. Two million. Two million. Fifty million. Fifty million. Carmen? Thirty-five. Thirty-five million. Gio, you went over, but you're closest. Yeah. One time payment of one point two five million. So lucky her. They were, yeah, married, nice. lawyer. were they even married a year? I don't even And still. they bet they had a prenup. Yeah. Because yeah. he's in real estate. He does real estate in Hollywood. So I mean he is worth a little bit of money. Yeah, he's not like definitely a, a nobody. But yeah. He said, uh, I will take $1.25 million, and any time I see you on TV, I can go, I hit that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I married that. Yeah. Remember when she spit on the donuts in the bakery? Yeah. yeah. No, she, she licked, licked, licked them. Or licked yeah. them, licked them, yeah. 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 Licked them, and everybody else wanted to lick them right after her. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, I thought that was weird. I remember that was like that when w- she was kind of first coming up. And I think I that was the really- first big news story that kind of broke. Yeah. But that's when like everyone was like licking the ice cream and getting mad. And then um, it was kind of around the time like Justin Bieber peed in the bucket. In the bucket. And, everyone, yeah. and everyone was like, these celebrities just can't control themselves. They think they can do whatever they want. That ruined someone's business. I paid up, double for a donut that she licked. And I was going to say, I think she ended up uh, buying out the bakery. Like she bought every donut. Yeah. You know what I mean? So Also, think about. Just, you know, you're not famous, whatever. Think about a camera crew following you around all the time. Yeah. How much dumb stuff they would catch uh, you doing, you know? Yeah. I, mean, I yeah. remember she looked like garbage for doing that. Oh, for sure. Video. It was a yeah. bad look. For sure. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, is there's plenty of people who have done much worse stuff that you're like, yeah. Well, the camera crew would be following me going, I can't believe you're going to Starbucks again. Nah. I just pass one. There is the, I don't know if it's showing up in you guys' like reels and stuff. There are these YouTube prankster people now there's these one. This one guy, he goes into Walmart. I saw. Starts I know exactly arguing with people. About. He's like, "Hey, can I interview you real quick?" And then start asking them like all these dumb questions. And then like they try to walk away, and he takes their cart. And they're like, "I'm going to take your cart." And they're like, what, "What? That's our cart, dude." And then he takes the whole cart, dumps it over, and then starts screaming like racism. He's like, "These guys are attacking me! Their cart!" They threw it, and it was crazy. And that's if what, they, that's if how they you get give beat up. Him, if they give him any attitude or anything, the one guy exactly, I know yeah. exactly what you're talking about. He's asking the guy questions. The guy's like, "All right," he realizes that this guy is yeah. being a 
jerk and you know trying to get him and stuff and then he's like uh, oh i'm sorry that you have such an ugly girlfriend his yeah. girlfriend standing right there and that was the one. jesus and they take their cart and he, fl- he flips over his cart like a full cart of groceries he's crashes the cart over i know you think it's funny but this kid would be dead so fast the kid that takes stuff out of people's carts and farts on it oh, yeah. <laughs> oh no I, I, I know it's bad but it makes me laugh that uh, kid would die he goes he comes up to the yeah. guy's car and he goes is this your car and the guy goes yeah and he goes pringles and the guy goes yeah like he's confused right. and he goes and put the back <laughs> of his cart i mean who dead. wouldn't Punch the hell out of that guy. Yeah, the, but, uh, you, uh, but you know what is so surprising is how many people don't. Yeah, yeah. you also you're like, they what know, just happened? Yeah, and they also probably know that they're being filmed, yeah. and God forbid they do uh, touch him and that he didn't touch them. You know what I mean? So now, Pringles. <sighs> this one couple, I feel so bad for them because he's like, oh, your fat, ugly girlfriend. Yeah. After he goes, hey man, can I interview you real quick? We're doing a story. He's like, yeah, sure. And then he just starts talking how ugly his girlfriend is, and then <laughs> yeah, these guys the have over. to do outdo the other guys so they're yeah. getting taken. Yeah, but you can't react at all. You can't just punch that guy in the face because yeah. now you're going to jail. Here's, you could. here's my thing though: is if there's funny in it, I'm fine with yeah. it. If it's something funny, okay. But those aren't even funny. They're just dumb. Just mean. Yeah. There's no there's no redemption at all. Like if there's something then it's funny and you go, oh, okay, that's funny. But yeah, these are just dumb and they're looking to get punched. But I watched it the whole video and uh, they got the uh, click out of it and I'm. You know, part of the problem. No, man, I would just start wailing. Yeah, there were some people like in Florida, you'd been shot. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. a lot of people were saying that. Uh, I gotta tell you, uh, have you seen the uh, previews uh, for uh, the new Roadhouse with Jake Gyllenhaal? Yeah. I would just do that where he smacks the guy and he goes, "Oh my god, I just smacked you in the face. Are you okay?" <laughs> just act like you're concerned afterwards. <laughs> uh, one of Johnny Depp's co-stars in the movie Blow. How long ago did that come out? A long time. It's Penelope yeah. Cruz, right? Is accusing him of verbal abuse. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Yeah, exactly, yeah. right? Come on. It was Stop like it. in the 80s, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> no, oh, it was not. it was later than that. I think, yeah, 90s, late 90s, probably. But uh, yeah, uh, uh, you've waited too long. Yeah. But well, what are you going to, uh, what do you want now? Yeah, what What are you going to do? Like if I'm, if I'm Johnny Depp, I go, yeah, I didn't like it. You're a douchebag. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the movie Blow came out in 2001. Oh, 2001. Okay, yeah. I said late 90s. You said you said 80s. I Carmen. know. Yeah. Well, I thought it was before my time because I didn't see it until I was like in my 20s. Not in movie. HD. Mm. Yeah, yeah I, but I, it was a good movie. Yeah, I've that's seen Penelope it, but... Cruz. I saw yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> to anything she's in. Uh, what do you pay for more? What do you pay more for Ariana Ariana Grande Lick Donut or uh, Penelope Cruz? Lick Penelope Donut? Cruz. Yeah. yeah, Penelope Cruz Lick Donut sounds like this. Good morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have a different good morning from the uh, Dustin Hoffman. Uh, yeah. Dustin Hoffman. Good morning. And then you have uh, Penelope Cruz. Good morning. <laughs> Awkwardly similar. All I do is good morning for uh, <laughs> invitations. Uh, Joey Fatone, this is this is interesting because hey, good morning. you go, okay, but he probably said it the right way. When you hear the statement without him saying it, you go, yeah, okay, dumb, dumb. But think about him saying this. Joey Fatone says the other guys in sync aren't just waiting around for Justin Timberlake to call. In fact, sometimes they even have to say no to him because, quote, everybody's doing things. So it either works out or it doesn't. Now, you think of somebody saying that you go, yeah, you guys are. You're just yeah. totally with yeah. but Joey Fatone is like, yeah, I mean, we're doing other stuff, too. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. you know, I don't know. Chris Kirkpatrick said to me this is way years ago. He said. That people think we're just waiting on on Justin. He's like Justin's been cool. He'll do whatever we want to do. But he like he made that clear. He's like yeah. uh, Justin doesn't hold us up. He's like he's he has asked us to do stuff that we just can't do. I yeah. remember him saying that. And just because you're not seeing them out publicly doing a ton of stuff, they're doing other yeah. things. Yeah. The worst was when they had that first in sync reunion. I think it was on the MTV Awards. Yeah, and they came up from the floor and they did like. Two songs and then sunk back down in the floor, like as it just disappeared. Uh, yeah. You know, like right back to obscurity. <laughs> uh, I, don't know, I was like, oh, that, it's sad. Yeah. Uh, Whoopi Goldberg admits that she's using Manjaro to lose weight. Hey, Whoopi, it's not working. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't seen her lately. That's what Joe tells me about Diet Coke. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> it's not working. And he's not like, working. oh, are you having a Diet Coke? Just to let you know it's not working. Oh. <laughs> I don't Why do people always try to hide that kind of stuff? <laughs> what that they're taking the uh yeah like uh, like if because you, then they lose out on endorsements yeah oh i think it's I even bet. worse than if you're oprah and you're in your uh hawk and weight watchers but you're taking 
Mongiorno also. Right. Well, that's the whole thing. That's that's why she wound up having to step down from the board of Weight Watchers and do it all. She did the right thing. Yeah. Yeah. But it was after everyone called her out. She didn't do it on her own. Yeah. Will she did it after people found out she was taking Ozempic, and then she was like, "Oh yeah, by the way, I'm no longer with right. Weight Watchers. I'm with Ozempic." It wasn't out of the kindness of her heart right. that she gave up that information, but that's shady. Yeah, no, I, if you're if you're <laughs> if you're promoting Weight Watchers and you're uh, taking Ozempic, there is something there that I think that's, that's deceitful. Would've... Right, and she would have kept doing it until someone called her out on it. Right. Is the thing. Uh, and I also think there's a stigmatism because it's... Stigma. What? Stigma. Stigmatism is a thing in your eye. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I think that uh, because it's made for uh, diabetes, that it's not made for weight loss. It's an effect. It's a, you know... That side, it, effect. The, side effect? Side yeah. effect is weight loss. But now they've come out with stuff they've kind of change this up a little bit and now they have stuff that's just for just weight, weight loss, loss. Yeah. also uh, a lot of times they find a use from a drug that was intended for one thing that is successful with right. another you know there's nothing wrong with that and, no but also the other problem was it was made for people with diabetes and then people with diabetes couldn't get their medication because ev- all the celebrities were using it for weight loss yeah, yeah. and yeah. no one was actually using that, it for wo- that's different you know, that's but that's different. how this started. Right. That's literally how this craze started. There was a shortage. Yeah. There yeah. was a shortage because people with diabetes couldn't get their medication, and then all those celebrities were like, "Oh, well, we needed to lose weight." But I think people <laughs> feel like you're cheating when you're doing that. They to do. Lose yeah. weight. But like, I, I like Galvin. We were talking about earlier. I, who cares? Yeah. I, but, I don't. I don't. Uh, you know, I'm. I'm considering having that weight loss surgery that Bobby had, and there's no way. There's no way me could be sitting here at 300 plus pounds. And all of a sudden, be down to uh, two twenty, and you tell you, oh no! It's but something. a lot of people, I think, like the notoriety and the praise that comes with losing weight. Like, oh man, what are you doing? You're working hard. That's great. Lose a lot of weight, as opposed to you were just taking a pill right. or whatever. Right. Yeah. You know? And then you have people like Carmen that are uh, accusing me. <laughs> Even Bobby. <laughs> I, I mean, you Even look great, Bobby Galvin. Wasn't forward with it right away. <laughs> no, no. I asked him in the gr- yeah. off air. I was like, hey man, what are you doing? He's like, oh, I was working. You know, hey, yeah, you gotta eat right. You yeah. Gotta do yeah. That. That's that's exactly that. what he told me. And then you go to. Make Mexico and have your stomach cut in half. <laughs> yeah. I, I know, I know a lot of people who've done it and lied about it too, and I don't understand it. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I know other people in in radio that I talked to about it. I said, "Hey, I'm thinking about doing this," and they said, uh, "Oh yeah, yeah." They're like, "But uh, don't you know? Keep are you going to say?" I go, "Of course, I'm going to say." I tell them, man. Like, I tell them everything. You? I told them I had a bloody hemorrhoid one time. Why would I not <laughs> yeah. tell them this? Uh, finally, in news, a uh, in a poll, 30 percent of Americans say they plan on doing a little. Uh, NCAA bracket this year. A little March Madness, yeah? I'm doing, yeah. Uh, and more than half of them will put some money on it, e- even uh, though uh, many of these uh, are casual office pools. 51% of people do consider it gambling. Yes, if you're putting money on sports to win money, that is gambling. Yeah. Uh, what do you think the odds of a perfect March Madness bracket are? The odds of a perfect, so all the way through, all the entire March Madness the odds of a perfect bracket are one in nine point two quintillion. Yeah, it's it's wild. It's insane. Yeah. So who wins? Who wins the whole thing? Yeah, like Dude. how do you how do you? But no, no. I, know, <laughs> but, but I mean, how do you know? How do you know who who? If it's one in one quintillion or whatever. It oh, is. it's whoever has the best. I don't know. I I actually I started but that because sentence, they eliminate. But I don't know. They eliminate your bracket down, and then you're eliminated. So if your team lost. Early on, are you out? Is yeah, it over? There's, like yeah. A, a, there's always like a big bracket buster, they call it, because right. there'll be like one big, because it only takes one upset out of the whole tournament and you're out. Like, and there's usually somebody you think there's no way they're going to lose that game. And or there's lose. like an, un- if you're, if or you're, there's you're, an unnamed college yes. that you've never heard of before that comes in and like takes over and makes it to the final four. And you're like, who is this team? So before the uh, tournament starts, you fill out the entire bracket. Yes. Yeah. So yes. you're going Duke versus Gonzaga and you're taking Winner. Duke. Next round. And then, that, so if that is wrong, then you're already out. Exactly. Right. Yeah. So, and, and it's both sides, all these teams. So you, if you lose one of the games, you're out. That's it. Oh man, it's uh, it's very. I don't know. It's like that's very why hard. every contest is like we'll pay you ten million dollars right. if you get it right because you're never gonna get it's, it. Right. There's usually one big early on. There'll be like one big bracket buster where nobody saw this team was gonna win. And yeah. They did, and then you know a huge a ton of people are out. I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna try and get into it. It starts like I, it started t- uh, tonight. I yeah, believe. I just figured I'd be inundated with brackets in my yeah. face before you know. 
Uh, it actually started yesterday. Oh, yesterday, the yeah. first four were yesterday. It started yesterday with a uh, pair of 16 seeds looking to punch their ticket to the uh, round of 64. Yeah, and then they have the different, uh, you know, the lead yeah. eight and the, the fir- final uh, first four. round is tonight. I think it starts. Oh, yeah. Okay. I gotta get my bracket. Yeah. yeah, do it now. Well, I can tell you, Hard Rock Bet has it on there. So oh, they do? Ha- well, they don't have a bracket, but you can bet on, you know, the games. Yeah. Yeah, you can pick the winners and stuff you think will win the whole tournament, Final Four, yeah. Sweet 16. Interesting. Good luck, everybody. Good luck with your brackets. Uh, that is it for news. All right, Galvin, thank you. Got it. Uh, the phone numbers here are 727 579 1025 or 800 771 1025 if you want to be part of the show. We must take a break. When we come back, a brand new open letter from Galvin is next at 1025 The Bone. Uh, by the way, this just in, the next jackpot for Mega Millions Uh-oh. is Friday. Estimated nine hundred and seventy-seven so million dollars. It rolled over yeah. completely. Yeah, no winner, no winner. Wow, interesting. All right, I'm in. I mean, you still check your tickets. You may be a million dollar winner. Or there were two or something. Whatever, yeah, there were two. So, but so. Uh, yeah, nine hundred and seventy-seven million dollars for the next uh, drawing for the Mega Millions. What would you get first? What would I get first? Like, obviously, you're going to get your business in order and your you know, the whole thing. But what do you think? Like, I, I know I'd rush out to buy one thing right now. There's something I really want, but I would only get if I had a bunch of money to waste. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I got to be honest with you. Probably one of the first things I would do would be get a bunch of different cars because I would like to show up to your guys' places and be like, hey, just so you know, one Mega Millions, here's your, you know, whatever, Corvette, makes here's me, your... I saw, you the, uh, I saw the Cybertruck yesterday on the road. The <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's it's weird when you see that in person. It's weird You looking. know what's weird about it is inside's ugly. Yeah. yeah. Outside's you, ugly. I know, but the outside, like, you know, it's cool because it's new and it's, it's weird and all that, but the inside just empty and gray. Yeah. It's just, I, when I, I'm like, oh my God, I was so excited. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, if I, if I had a Buy the card, buy Pete's card, buy the Lamborghini, just for that. Yeah, start it, you know. Yeah, yeah. Every time I see him in the car, I'm like, oh, I get a little jealous. See, uh, I, yeah. I'm such a skeptic that I'd have to wait for the money to be in my account yeah. before I go buy anything. <laughs> oh, I yeah. just, I would not believe it. I'd have, the, you know what I mean? I'd have. The yeah, thing. I don't. I, I mean, I'd, just hypothetically, what would you get? Right. I don't. I'd have to wait for the money to come in, and then after that, I'd probably like honestly like pay off my house or something like that. You I'd wouldn't pay- live in that house. <laughs> Well, I would pay. Well, yeah, but I'd use it as a rental property. You would, you still, yeah, because you want money coming. I'm in. giving Carmen, away this house. You have nine hundred and seventy-seven million dollars. Oh, okay. You need a rental property. <laughs> bringing in what? Three hundred a month. Yeah, three hundred a month. <laughs> Get out of here, you weirdo. The first thing I'm me. doing, I'm, I'm flying to Vegas and getting that big ass suite with the basketball court and all the stuff. And you it, still want to play the Palms uh, <laughs> yeah. basketball court just for one week? The reality series. Yeah. I'm gonna go somewhere and have just an amazing weekend. Hmm. I would, uh, I would definitely want to do that too. But I think yeah. I'd buy a boat. I think I want one of those big yachts. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, I yeah, rent yeah. a yacht and then like sail the world. No. I want, I want a yacht with a crew. My my cousin Nico, he's the uh, the main guy on a on a big yacht like that in, in down in South Florida. I just hire Nico. That's pretty awesome. Just come over here and live on my boat. Get your own bedroom on the boat. You live on the boat and then take me out whenever I want to go out. Yeah. That'd be nice. Mm-hmm. That would be I mean, nice. there's so many different things for sure. You know, they'd be like, <laughs> Captain Nico, take me to Hooters New Porgy. Yeah. <laughs> big ass yacht pulls <laughs> up. I have to, have to uh, get in on a dinghy because the boat's too big to pull up over there. <laughs> yeah, I just think that I think a boat would be really nice. I don't want a boat because I don't want to take care of it and I don't want to be responsible for anchoring and driving and all that said but i have the next best thing i have two brothers with boats i have mm. my brother-in-law has one and my brother john has one and I, i'm good yeah that's way to go my brother-in-law's got a boat takes that all the time it's oh. perfect yeah and they're always like please let's go out on the boat we bought this thing and we're not using it enough yeah. and they both offered for me to take it they're like you can take it if you want i'm like mm. i don't i don't know how to drive a boat <laughs> <laughs> steve hurley offered for me to take one of the corvettes for a weekend and i go there is no <laughs> way <laughs> <laughs> I'm so oh. nervous right. driving that thing. <laughs> Why is this guy going six yeah. miles per hour in a car? <laughs> uh, don't hit me. Yeah, I know. That would make me nervous. Too. It was great. Uh, why is the ice cream all melted? Because I parked four blocks yeah. away from the grocery store so nobody would hit the Corvette. It would be nice to just pull up in the driveway, though, and get out with the neighbors. Hey, come yeah. on. Yeah. No big deal. Yeah. Thinking about uh, buying it. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh,. I'm going over Stingray today. Yeah, today is their uh, check presentation for Unity in the community oh, for nice. all the money that they raised from the uh, from the Corvette raffle. So uh, it's always big and it always does great work. And they put that money right back into Unity in the community, which helps all over the Tampa Bay area. So I'm proud to be associated with that. So for check sure. that out this afternoon. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is eight thirteen. It's time to check in with Galvin. He has a brand new open letter. 
And now, an open letter from Galvin. This is an open letter to people that are making things too easy. Dear people that are making things too easy, seriously, have you seen these Skechers commercials where they have the slip-on shoes because apparently it's become too taxing for humans to bend <laughs> down or tie their shoes? Is that where we are now? Are we going to evolve into a race of beings that can't bend? Is it because we are too lazy or too fat? Or both? Probably too fat. Which brings me to something else that is making it too easy for us. Uber Eats. Back in the day, it was only pizza that would get delivered. Now you can literally get anything. And of course, I'll pay for priority because I don't want some a-hole getting their burritos before I get my Chinese food. If I don't pay for priority, it won't be hot when it gets here. Meanwhile, every egg roll I've ever bitten into has been hotter than a thousand suns. <laughs> First, they would deliver. Then it was faster delivery. And I guarantee that eventually they'll help you actually eat your food. Then they'll take you to the bathroom, or as I like to call it, pooper. <laughs> We've been making things easier forever. Microwaves. Remember when those started popping up and people were like, you realize those will give you tumors. It's like radiation. And we were like, yes, but did you see how fast it heats up my lasagna? <laughs> we had horses, then we had wagons, then we had cars, planes. We've actually been a society that uh, tries to make stuff easier for a long time. In fact, there's a saying, if you want to make money, build a better mousetrap. But sometimes I think we push things a little too far. If the Over Orville brothers uh, never invented the airplane, would humans have evolved enough that we'd be able to fly around like Superman? I guess we'll never know. But one thing I can tell you for sure, no matter what Geo says, those mobility scooters, they were meant to be used by handicapped people, <laughs> not fat, fat, fatties. I'm Galvin from the Mike Kelty Show, and this has been an open letter to people that are making things too easy. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. I'm fat, telling fat, fatty you, on the scooter. knock it all you want, but I did it at Dollywood, <laughs> and it was awesome. You rented it for you. No, oh. but my my in-laws had rented them because uh, my father-in-law, he can't walk long distances because he's got a bad knee. So what do you, how do you piggyback on him? And then my brother-in-law, he got one, too. He's like, well, I'm going to get one. Why, why not? Because, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they go pretty slow. So it's like if it's, if someone's going to be in it in your group, you might as well all get them it so goes, you can yeah. move at the same pace. And we somehow we ended we had this big group. We ended up with like four of them. And I'm like, yeah, let me take them for a ride. All right. And it was great. Right. Yeah, I went, I went on the uh, Disney moped chain gang. Yeah. <laughs> that was with a bunch of people. But I never, I never even sat on one. So. Yeah. Uh, I got one before the emails come in. Who invented the airplane? I, you know what? As soon as I said, because uh, I, I was thinking yeah. of the Wright brothers. Yeah, I, I just know yeah. the million people are like Galvin and Orville. Brother. It's so funny. I was writing it, and I was gonna say when uh, Orville Wright, you know, whatever. But uh, yeah, and then I left it in there. So yeah, it's the Wright brothers. Yeah. So. Orville Redenbacher Orville <laughs> invented the airplane <laughs> and the popcorn. Delicious. Um. We got ratings yesterday? Yeah. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I don't know why you'd be afraid. Do you wanna you wanna take a guess how we did? Well we didn't get a text, so that can't be good. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. I think uh, we did fantastic, Michael. Thank you, Joe. Mm -hmm. I don't even know how many consecutive multiple times that we are number one for sure. Um take a uh, guess at what is number two. We're number one, and this is uh, adults. the the hot the hot uh, demo age adults twenty five fifty four persons men and women. You better not tell me Ricky Smiley. Oh, I was gonna say Scotty the Body. <laughs> is he mornings? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Uh, both of incorrect. Orlando. Orlando. Hey, congratulations. Yeah, and we uh, we almost double that number. So I'm very mm -hmm. I'm proud of that. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is the one. What came in third? Third. Mm. It's actually a tie. Do we know them? Would we know them? What do you mean? I, I, you can just give me the station. I, that's a good question, Carmen. I'm just going to answer it because I, uh, third is mix. What is on mix? If you ask me, Nancy Alexander mix? still does mornings on mix. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I, I have no I idea. I would have said the exact same thing, and then I also think she hasn't been there in like 15 yeah, years. I know, but I mean, like, I, I mean, I haven't even thought of mix in forever. 
And the third place is Mix and the station that I used to uh, uh, be on, WYU, when it was Outlaw, but it's been Spanish for 20 years now. Yeah. Is that the Breakfast Club? Are they on Mix? Nope. No. Uh, I can tell you who's on Mix. Is this right? Is this the right one? Uh, this is, It's uh, Laura and Brody. Hmm. Brody? Joe, are Laura. you friends with Brody? Uh, Chief Brody? <laughs> no, not Chief Brody. Okay, no, I don't know. Um, uh, I see. Yeah, that's what it says. Mixed mornings with. Uh, I thought it was Ryan Seacrest. Hmm? That's only on Sunday. He doesn't do every day. Carmen, your uh, Breakfast Club is on the beat, and that is currently in okay. 19th place. Mm. All right, close. No. Beat, mix, the same thing, right? Um, it goes. Bone Wild mix in in Spanish, then Ricky Smiley with the vibe, and uh, Danielle from Magic. No, Scotty. No, the, Scotty. Yeah, Danielle oh, Scotty, is in sorry. the is midday now. Scotty. Uh, then the two country stations are battling it out at seventh and eighth. The ninety eight Rock. Then DUV. What is WCIE? That's got to be religious, right? See, I've never even heard of that. That's why I'm assuming it's so high up in the in the top ten. Yeah, it's yeah, joy. The joy. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, then FLZ. Wah, wah, boy, the mighty have fallen. <laughs> uh, and then the rest of it's all between 13th and 31st place. Where's Eagle in there? Eagle anywhere in there or no? Mm-hmm. I think I think they skew a little older. Mm-hmm. I think if you went 2554 in this thing, if you were to win 35 and higher, then they probably do a lot better. I'm uh, surprised sometimes at what Eagle is playing. I haven't listened to Eagle in a long time. Eagle will throw a Skid Row and Motley Crue in there every oh, once in yeah. a while. Yeah, that's oldies. But no, no I, know. I know it is now, it is. Yeah, yeah. Carmen. But it's it's hilarious for us to listen, think of that. It's yeah. it's different, you know. Listen, things that were popular when I was like in middle school and high school are now like the new mom. Yeah. Station. That's like what's on magic. I yeah. listen to it. I'm like jamming out. I'm like, this is great. And then I also forget that I'm the I the age of most. You've mothers. aged out. No, I'm the age of most mothers. I just don't have children. Yeah, because I don't have children. I forget how actual old you I have am. A barren womb. Barren. Oh. Nope, not true. Just a choice of not having oh. kids. You, you say that we don't know. No, I'm mm. I'm telling you that is just rude. Mm. Well, so I don't know. know. I'm, I yeah, no, I'm telling you. In a relationship with no babies. Yeah, I barren don't want womb. One. Yeah, I don't want one. There's a big difference. <laughs> God forbid that you're smart and use protection, Carmen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right? Yeah. It's, clearly, there's something <laughs> wrong with me. Uh, her parts don't work. Does uh, Chad want uh, children? No. I don't believe that. He's coaching high school football. Yeah, he likes to he coach. He wants to be around kids. Yeah. Well, I mean, nope. in a good way. He wants, <laughs> to be, he wants to play football, but obviously he's too old to try and Go to in the league, so he could so beat the kids. The next thing to do is to coach. Is it obvious though, or did you guys have a discussion? <laughs> <laughs> what about so, him so trying like to try out, out yeah, for the oh. NFL? Listen, I mean, <laughs> you gotta let it go, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. he has high hopes. He's he still thinks he's a young buck, but you know, you didn't make the soccer team. Just yeah. Like- yeah. Carmen, what's the thing that's made you feel oldest? Like what you were saying before about things that used to be old people that are in your range now. What makes me feel old? Like I'll tell you, I'll tell you what the first thing was for me was when I saw Van Halen on VH1. I was mm, like, oh yeah. man, Van Halen's getting on my parents' channel now. See, for me, it's still like when I see my friends and their kids are like in middle school, yeah. and I'm like, are you serious? Like I remember when they're pregnant, and now their kids are in middle school, and I'm like, oh my god. But like, it never comes to me until I see something like that. Cause so. At my age now, a lot of I've noticed a lot of people I remember from high school and stuff. A lot of bald people. Yeah, a lot oh, of gray yeah. hair, a lot of wrinkles, not looking good. Uh, so yeah. I grew up with three older brothers. So I always felt like everybody was older than me. Like I, all their friends and everything. But I also think that now, and I will see people, and I'm like, that guy's definitely older than me. And they'll be like, he's 41. And I'm like, Jesus, <laughs> what is going on? Yeah. Yeah. But also, yeah. I feel like they look older than me too. Like I have that at least going for me. So I didn't want to. I didn't want to go on this cruise that we just went on with my with Joey's senior class. And their parents because I didn't want to hang out with the parents because mm-hmm. I didn't know that I didn't want to hang out with them. I just didn't. I had some anxiety about it because I didn't know them and I thought yeah. they were all old nerds. And then That's, you realized that you were the old one. I, and uh, no, well, they're all. <laughs> I mean, they may be my age, but I'm definitely the nerd, and uh, I loved them all. I thought they were great. I thought all the the couples we hung out with 
were awesome and fun and it was so much better than i thought and then they went out i saw on social media on on uh st patrick's day the whole group didn't invite oh. me oh. Oh. We're, the old, we're the old nerds You're too wow old. Not a fan. Don't yeah. invite them. They go to bed too early. Yeah, I mean that's true too. I would we would have a hard time finding a way to say we can't go. But oh man, yeah, I, I realized that we yeah. were the uncool ones. Why would they snub you, Michael? I don't know, Joe. It seemed like we hit it off. I mean, but then again, maybe I was wrong. Hmm. Once the kids aren't involved, mm-hmm. see ya. Well. Remember that guy? I thought he was too cool for us. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we went on the cruise and he was following us around like a puppy. Yeah. <laughs> but, and he kept falling in, in the cabana. Yeah. Hey, and we, falling asleep at dinner. Should we call him for St. Patrick's Day? See if nah, he wants to come out. Nah. I mean, but we're all going out. Yeah. Who cares? He's same group. Out. We just uh, same group. Yeah. yeah no. He doesn't know how to use Facebook. He'll never oh. find out. <laughs> he thinks his email is a score. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, man. Yeah. So uh, I'm the old nerd. I, f- I figured that part out. That could out. have been your new friend circle, and now nothing. Uh, should we invite him to go out for St. Patrick's Day? No, nah, I heard he has to go to the foot doctor and get, like, <laughs> hammer on his foot oh, and stuff. Yeah. And... Did you hear about the cloudy toe? Oh, oh yeah. right. <laughs> not going to happen. Plus, he'd probably wear, like, a sleeveless shirt or something. Yeah, we can't have that. Yesterday, I went to uh, get my feet worked on at the foot doctor, and then I stopped at Felice's and picked up... Uh, cheese and cutlets and i went this is it i've officially become my old uncle or yeah. somebody this is what if I you do. could if you could stop and uh see some birds for a little while <laughs> oh. you oh, <laughs> yeah nice little afternoon car yeah. Yeah. might stop by home depot <laughs> amanda's into birds now too oh yeah she's like i just <laughs> i didn't know you could pet birds and hang out i go and now we're getting birds oh, yeah no. No, like, birds. A, like a pet bird a pet bird oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what like one that, you, one that you have yeah Gio had pet I, yeah birds. I, I still have a parakeet you have a parakeet yeah what does it do it just hangs out. Yeah, she likes. She likes. She's into birds now. So I'm enough to put them on all her shirts. No, no, no. That's yeah. me. Nobody, <laughs> nobody touches my uh, my wardrobe. We had parrots when I was younger, and they would talk and all kinds of stuff. Does, does this one talk? The, par- the parakeet no hmm. doesn't talk. You can teach those to talk. Oh well, well, I mean, what good is it? I, I bought it for my daughter when she was like five, but she doesn't care anymore. No, she still plays with it. Uh, you know what? Birds are really smart are crows, and crows yeah. have good memories and stuff. And I saw a crow that was like in the water or something. The guy scooped it out and saved it. Carmen, like we were talking about the other day, the people that save animals and then they come back and visit and do all this stuff. Yeah. This crow hung out with them and would like ride on the back of its German shepherd and stuff. But it was really smart. Like he had a bunch of different colored cups that fit inside each other. And he would give the crow a treat if it would do it. And it would figure it out and put yeah. it all. And it would go to put the blue one and that didn't fit. So he moved over the yellow one and did it. And you stacked them all up and you got a little treat. <laughs> Crows crazy. can talk too. Yeah. They can teach them to talk. Yeah. We had a guy bring the crow in. And the crow would talk, and I was, it was so good and so clear that I couldn't tell if the guy was tricking me with ventriloquism or That's if it was wild. really a crow. I mean, yeah. think about back in the day. They used to use pigeons, carrier pigeons. They would teach them a route, and yeah. then you could send a pigeon to take your mail someplace. That's crazy. You know, right? You know who did that? Mike Tyson. Yeah. He had a lot of pigeons, yeah. He had a lot of pigeons, and he used to uh, sit on the roof and just hang out with them, talk to them. And that's what made him crazy when one of his friends no. killed one of his pigeons. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. He, tell, he tells a story. Yeah, one of one of the guys in the neighborhood took his pigeon and killed him, and that's what made Mike crazy. Why did he kill him? Because he was trying to be a tough person. guy. Yeah, <gasps> trying to make Mike kill upset. Him. Yeah. I saw a thing the other day, and I don't know whether this is true or whether this is just a myth or whatever. But uh, I guess uh, Mike Tyson was at the zoo, and there was one gorilla that was uh, bullying the other gorillas, and he offered the uh, people at the zoo like. I don't know, ten or twenty grand to go in and fight the gorilla. Yeah, gorilla, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Stop it! <laughs> we, you know, they keep bringing up the Jake Paul thing. I, I'm sure you've seen the meme of Jake Paul when he was like 15. He's dancing around all goofy, yeah, yeah. Yeah. and then it cuts to Mike Tyson when he was 15, and he's just murdering people in the ring. <laughs> yeah. Dude, when Mike Tyson was 15, when he was 13, yeah. he was fighting adults. Yeah. He was fighting full grown men <laughs> and knocking them out. It's yeah, crazy. It's crazy. He's a pit bull. Yeah, he's a human I, pit bull. I started watching that Hulu series, Mike or whatever it was yeah. called. I can't remember. It was really good, but then Mike came, Mike Tyson came out and was like, "Don't watch that. If yeah. you watch that, you don't like you don't support me." So yeah. I stopped watching it. But it was really good. Wouldn't it be great if Carmen's watching all of a sudden the doorbell rings? I told you, bitch. <laughs> 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 uh, all right, we got to take a break. When we come back from break, let's play a little redneck bingo. We haven't gotten to that this week. I said I would try and do it the other day, and I didn't. So we'll do that. Also, I want to talk about Stormy Daniels. Have you heard about this? Stormy Daniels says that she uh, took the hush money 
from Trump because she was afraid he was going to have her killed. Mm. Oh, shut up. Uh, you know what she should it's- do? Hush. Hush. Yeah. Hush it, hush it up. Uh, we'll play a little Redneck Bingo next on 1025 The Bone. All right, uh, Carmen, I believe we still have a lot of stuff to give away today. We do. We have tickets for Bill Maher, Rays vs. Jays, XFC 50, and Hailstorm. I'd go check out a little XFC. Sure. I haven't done that in a while. All right, well, let's do it right now, a little bit of Redneck Bingo. Here we go. You better redneck ignize. It's Redneck Bingo. Truck, jeans, beer, girl, creek boots, truck, tan legs, train, dog, beer, Dixie cup. Got a beer in my beer and a Chevy in my truck. Got a dog at the wheel, cut off jeans, truck. Dirt road, back road, beer, moonlight, red, white, and blue, girl, Friday night. I can listen to that all day. I love it. I love it. In the dirt, all right, I got the first artist. The first artist, Galvin, is Scotty McCreary, who I believe got his start on the American Idol television. Yeah, he got like a deep voice. Yeah, I know who he is. Uh, what are we looking for for Scotty McCreary? Uh, he is going to say, uh, I'm going to go with girl. Girl. All yeah. right. Gio? He's going to say dancing. Dancing. All right. Carmen? Lights. Lights. All right, Joe, would you like to play since there's no Spanish here today? Uh, sure. What do you got? Whiskey. Whiskey. All right. Let me pull up my little thing here. Let me get a contest on the phone. Good morning. Who is this? Uh, Sean. Hi, Sean. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Playing a little redneck bingo. We've got girl, dancing, lights, and whiskey for Scotty McCreary. What would you like to add to that? Uh, can I go truck? Put it in truck. All right, hold on. We got one minute on the clock. Question. Is, yes, Scott. Is it Scott McCready or McCreary? McCreary. It's Mindy is, McCready. Is there a McCready? Uh, I was going to yeah. say, is there a McCready also? Mindy McCready. Scott, Scott McCreary. McCreary. Orville Wright. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wright Brothers. <laughs> uh, all right, one minute on the clock. This song is called Cab in a Solo. One minute on the clock. Oh, no. One minute, nothing. 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 So he was. He went by our house and he saw her making out with another dude. In yeah, the room. very yeah. stalkerish. Ooh. Yeah, right. Ooh, that's on him, man. They literally just say what they're doing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's, that's most songs. You know that, Gio, right? But not, no, it's not yeah. like this. Yeah. It's m- country mostly. It's I, I went pulled up to and, Circle K today. Yeah. yeah. While I was around the corner, but that guy's gay. <laughs> so I try to stay away. <laughs> I mean, they, they literally do just talk about yeah. music. All right, well, we have a uh, new artist, and that artist's name is Dylan Gossett. Dylan Gossett. Dylan Gossett. He's going to say a city or a state. All right. Our location for uh, Galvin City or State. Geo? Truck. Pap, pap. Road. Carmen? Bear. Bear. All right. (laughs) Good morning. Who's this? Good morning. Who's this? What's your name? This is Sal. Sal. How you doing, Sal? Good, good. Listen right. to you guys every day. Thank you, sir. All right, here's what we got for Redneck Bingo. We got the artist. His name is Dylan Gossett. We've got City or State, Truck Road, or Bear. What would you like to add to that? How about Night? Night. All right, I'm going to put you on hold, and I hope to God this is a song about a guy getting attacked by a bear at night. <laughs> and this then is- I saw a bear. <laughs> this is Dylan Gossett, and this song is called Cole. Nothing. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I just, we are 0 for 2, man. We had boats and creek and drinking and everything in there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm jumping the gun a little. Uh, all right, Galvin, this next artist is called, what is he called? I lost it already. Uh, Matt Stell. Matt Stell. What do you got for Matt Stell? I'm going to go body water. I'm going to go pond, creek, okay. lake. All right. It was a creek mentioned in the last right, one. Right, yeah. I think I have a feeling, good feeling. Over the ocean. All right, uh, Geo. Drinking. Drinking? We're drinking. Uh, pep, pep? Dirt. Dirt. Okay, it's always good. Carmen? Road. Road. All right. Let me get a contestant here. Good morning. Who's this? Hi, this is Zach. Zach, we got a body of water, drinking, dirt, and road. What would you like to add to that? Let's go mountain. Mountain. Mountains. Okay, hold on. Put you on hold. Adding mountains to that for uh, Matt Stell. We leave it, we've been leaving out one good thing that was even mentioned in the last song. This song is called Breaking in Boots. Oh, yeah. Boots. Mm. Boots. One minute on the clock. 
Here we go. Maybe he's bringing him in on a mountain. You don't know. Yeah. We're mm. over three. We gotta have a winner. We can't Oops, stop it yeah, until we get a winner. Come on. All right, hold on. Let me uh, let me move around. Let me switch country categories. Mm. Let's go to new boots. Uh, uh, mm. All right, I'm gonna give you three artists. You tell me what you think has a better chance. All right. Michael Warren. Okay. George Burge. Okay. Or Co Wetzel. Co Wetzel. Co Wetzel. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to go Pretzel. <laughs> you can have Wetzel's Pretzel. Oh, oh. All right. The artist is Cole Wetzel, Galvin. Co. Oh. Co. K O E. Uh, he's going to say Knight. Knight? Mm-hmm. All right. Geo? Girl. Pep Pep? Beer. Carmen? Sky. All right. Let me go get a new contestant. Good morning. Who's this? Adam. Adam, you're our last contestant. We've had no one win so far. The artist's name is Co Wetzel, and uh, we've got Night Girl, Beer, and Sky. What would you like to add to that? Let's go with God. God. God I got to win. All right. Win, 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 one for God. One minute on the clock. This song is called Damn Near Normal. Okay. Tim talking to God and Brother Joe, whatever that guy's name is. <laughs> Here we go. One minute on the clock. Oh, slow start. Not a winner, but the guy's taking a fistful of Xanax to go to yeah, sleep. Yeah. I can barely Country. understand the other stuff he was saying. Yeah, bag of weed and uh, no kids. He did say bag of weed, right? Yeah, he did. Said. All right, I got to do one more. I can't yeah, just, yeah, I can't yeah. just, hey, how about Tyler Hubbard? Tyler Hubbard. You can't go wrong with Tyler Hubbard. Tyler Hubbard. Right. City or state? City or state. All right, city or state for Tyler Hubbard. Geo? Boots. Boots. Whoa. Wait. All right. There's a little preview. What do you, uh, we got? Uh, what do we have? We have City State, State boots, 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 Joe, Road, Carmen, Beer. Hi, who's this? Hello. Uh, yep. All right. Good morning. Who's this? Hey, it's Brian. Hi, Brian. We've got the artist. Is Tyler Hubbard? We got City or State boots, Road, and Beer. What would you like to add to that? I'm gonna go dancing, please. Dancing. All right. We put you on hold. Let's go right over to Tyler and see what he has to offer. Instead of paving the roads, they just throw gravel down. Road. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, man. Yeah, I thought he said rose, but you don't pave a rose. No. You, don't, you no. pay a road. No. Thank God that guy's a winner. Uh, Carmen, I blew that's line five. Gotcha. All right. Thank you. Jesus, that was long and drawn out. Uh, all right. Well, uh, we got a winner, and you'll get to pick your choice of tickets or what you would like. We'll have more of that stuff tomorrow morning. Right now, we must take a break because Martin Gramatica is going to join us in the studio. It's March. March is Colon Cancer Awareness Month. And this is going to mean things for us. Oh, boy. You're on oh deck. Boy. Uh, we're on deck. <laughs> oh. We're on deck. Oh. We'll talk to Martin next on 1025 The Bone. Martin's here, and then we'll let him in. Hello. Hello. Yes, please send Martin in. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Martin. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Martin. <sighs> Martin. Martin. What movie? Uh, s- sneakers. Sneakers, correct. <laughs> Come on, Martin. Martin. Have you ever seen that movie? I have not. You're missing really? a good one. All right. It's a movie that's waiting to be remade. River Phoenix, Dan Aykroyd, Sidney Poitier, Ben Kingsley, Robert Redford. Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's more, too. Comedy, drama, what are we looking at? It's a both. It's a yeah. comedy thriller. I don't even think I've ever even heard of it. It's, it's about, a great it's, movie. It's about two guys who grew up together. Well, not grew up together. And two guys who went to college together. They were super smart computer guys. One uh, gets pinched for doing it, for breaking in, doing something. The other yeah. one gets away. And then uh, that guy is like with a bunch of all those other guys. Right. right. River Phoenix. And uh, is they're all hackers. And they do stuff together. And then and uh, somebody is... <laughs> It's a long story, but uh, I don't want to ruin it because it's worth watching. It's worth uh, digging on watching. Computer hacker Martin Martin uh, Robert Redford heads a group of specialists who test the security of various San Francisco companies. Martin is approached by two national security officers who ask him to steal a newly invented decoder. Martin and his team discover the black box uh, can crack any encryption code, posing a huge threat to uh, if it lands in the wrong hands. Which now would be more relevant than ever. Yeah. And... Um, it's it's pretty. It's kind of like everybody's got to get the knock list. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's the one if they if we don't get it, they get it. Everybody in that. All right. Uh, and the NSA guys are uh, are uh, fake, and they approached uh, Martin because uh, 
they uh, want to fa- frame him for the murder of the uh, device's inventor. Mm. Mm. It's a good movie. Mm. Sneakers is what it's called. And that is our uh, that is our vintage movie choice of the week. <laughs> That's Came what out we should do. 1992. Really? Yeah. But like I uh, was one. Oh man. Uh, uh, me. James Earl Jones is in there. David Stratham is in there. A huge Mary cast. McConnell. Yeah, a lot, a lot of famous people in there for sure. Nope. Should I watch it? No, it's not. No, okay. you would not no. like it. Thank you. <laughs> Gio, Gio would like it. You would not like it because it's not an HD. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. I appreciate the honesty. We know what you like. Yeah. I don't mind a non HD movie. Yeah. Like if you're watching on these cool ass uh, uh, TVs anyway. I will say I don't mind a non HD movie, but that is just kind of my level of how I know if it's too old. Gonna hold up. If it's gonna hold up, because like anything in the eighties, I watch. I'm like, oh brother. Yeah. Like, but let me ask you: You'll never watch anything from the seventies. Um, I mean the old. I mean, I'll go old. I watch westerns with my grandpa. Oh. But that is, you know what I mean. Well, what about the greatest movie ever made, 1971? Hmm. And that is The Godfather. Oh, I've never seen it. <gasps> oh boy. <sighs> Women yeah. tend not to care for that as much. I, yeah. I forced my wife to watch all three. Yeah. And she didn't enjoy that. Yeah, I, I understand why she hates you. <laughs> I noticed you used the word forced. Yeah, yeah. that's her, that's her I shrimp mean, and garlic. Yeah. She, did, <laughs> she didn't hate it, but I was disappointed that she did not love it as much as didn't I did. Didn't want to discuss it and watch it again. Yeah. And, uh, and then, I was, <laughs> then I was trying to like explain to her why it's so good and why certain moments are so great. And she just wasn't having and, it. And that's the other thing. When a man wants to explain a movie to you and he gets so excited before anything even happens and you just see it in his face, you're like, ugh, I hate it. Look, I already, you know, you, what I, you make me hate it. You yeah. know what I did to my wife the other day? And I said, is that the most annoying thing? And she was like, no, not really. Is I will sit and watch Seinfeld and I will say the line before oh. the line happens. <laughs> yeah. I, and, I, and, oh, yeah. I, and I'm telling you that I can do it to every Seinfeld yeah. episode and I can come up with all the lines and do all this stuff. Yeah. And I go, Is that annoying? And she's like, No. Listen, uh-huh. Carmen, you, uh, I would not force mm-hmm. you to watch it, but I think that if you did watch it, you'd enjoy it. Godfather? Yo. Okay. She, I, I'm telling you right now, I don't think she would enjoy it at all. I, don't I like the she, other... I don't think she would know what the hell was going on. Yeah. And this is nothing against you, Carmen. I think it was just, yeah, you weird. would be like, boring. I, and you feel, would... I feel Mike thinks less of you because you've not watched it. No. Yeah, that's fine. I don't... I mean, <laughs> so listen, Mike's reasons. the old man that no one wants to hang out with. I'm yeah. okay with that. Carmen, maybe you should try to watch The Offer, and then maybe you get would get interested. Yeah. Because the backstory the is a little more... It might be a little more appealing to you. That no, thank you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, I can tell you just from watching uh, Quiet on the Set, that documentary, looking at the clips that weren't too long ago, I was like, look at how bad TV was oh, then. Yeah. Like how uh, the, it was filmed. It, it was, was almost so, low budget. Yeah. yeah Nickelodeon yeah. now. You barely make out faces. I was like, what is going on? <laughs> I'm trying to think of other great movies from the late 70s, early 80s that Carmen has never seen. Mm. Like, you ever seen Rosemary's Baby? Nope. Oh, man. Have you ever seen Planet of the Apes? Oh. Have you ever seen Jaws? No. <gasps> oh my! God. I don't. I also don't like scary movies. Uh, Keep that in mind. Mm. That Jaws to me is a scary movie. All right. So that is no thank Jaws you. Jaws is not a scary movie, but it's terrifying. Yeah, yeah. it's sc- that's a scary movie. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, like, you know, you're gonna when it's over. As long as you're not in the water, you're not scared. Although I used to be afraid to take a shower in mm. my grandmother's shower because a tooth could come up through the drain. I wouldn't stand near the drain. Yeah. Carmen, will... have you ever seen Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid? No. Oh, my God. Close I will it. say one of the older movies that I did watch growing up, Dirty Dancing. Okay. Great movie. Love that movie. I'll watch it today. It's not in HD. Right? It's not. And yeah. I don't but feel like that's a movie. When I think of Dirty old. Dancing, I don't feel uh, like it's old. It that's, is. 80, that's 86, 87. 87. Yeah. yeah. That's, that was before I was born. That's old. Yeah. There's about- so many great like comedies in the 80s that I f- feel oh, yeah. that Charm probably hasn't been watched or seen. Like, you've seen Porky's? Any of the Porky's? No. But, I mean, that's really not towards her, though. Hey, but still, Carmen, she's done funny stuff. What about Close Encounters of the Third Kind? No. Oh, oh that's, that's a movie. E.T. the Extraterrestrial. No. That alien is so dumb. Mm. <laughs> I hate it. I just, he looks, looks kind of ter- stupid now. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a second. You've never even seen E.T.? No. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. I feel like you're, you're deprived. <laughs> I, that's what I know. And then and, but he just looks so fake, like all those movies. Yeah. Have you seen I mean, Gremlins? 
No. Oh, you don't even know. Yeah, no, thank you. I'm good. <laughs> what would you say is your favorite movie? Well, I like comedies and rom coms, so it's nothing that you're gonna like. No, like, not true. I'm a rom com. Carmen, guy. you you have said your favorite movie a few times. Uh, I don't know whether it still is or not. Step Brothers. Yes, that's yeah. like uh, yeah com- for comedy. That's good. All right, what else? And then I mean, I love um, anything with Katherine Heigl. Almost really? almost anything with Katherine Heigl. <laughs> Knocked up is all I can think of. She kind of fell up. off though towards the end. Oh, one hundred percent. But like she, like all of her movies. Um, the first couple were really good. Yep, uh, the Ugly Truth is oh, great. So bad. Life as we know it. Killers. Anything with her. Anything with uh, Reese Witherspoon. Love her. <laughs> Like Sweet, sweet Home I, Alabama yeah, All the am, classics Yeah I am a rom-com fool uh, uh, Carmen Yes What season are you on in Suits? I'm on season 7 I th- had to take a break because I like binge watched And I did not like season 5 And so I needed like a little uh, I don't I, I, cleanser I don't even know where it comes in Have you seen Katherine Heigl on Suits? Oh No not yet huh? Well there oh, you go wow. Yeah yeah I just saw that when I pulled her up Yeah she's on Suits I did not like Mike. Where are you at? I don't. I don't remember. But I, I'm Mike took the job at the uh, at the financial place. Hmm. Okay, so the season after that, when he goes to another place, that season was totally just pointless. Oh, brother! Spoiler. Well, I didn't say where he went. Yeah, I, I was trying to let you know where I meant, Galvin. Uh, you know What's what? I uh, started out? watching the other day a uh, series, Shogun. Oh. I heard that was good. Yeah, it is good. It is good. It's very interesting. Except for I was halfway through it and I go, I mean, are there no subtitles? They're speaking Japanese. Like, what? <laughs> is, how, how am I supposed to get this? What? Are, I had to go to my settings and turn the subtitles. Oh, on. really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I watched a movie one time that had no subtitles, and I'm like, this is it, Italian. But the problem is, you know what it is? Is it's not your TV. It's the thing that we use. Right. You have to go to that oh, settings. Man. So it's a different thing. Yeah. Cause I'm like yelling at Alexa to turn the subtitles on and stuff and wasn't working yet. So I figured it out. <laughs> I've been it wa- is good though. I've been watching Wonka a lot. Yeah. I like that movie. I didn't mind it. I yeah, didn't right. hate it, but I want to see that poor things with Emma. You so. can watch that with my wife. My wife. So it's so funny. Your wife never listens. Right. So I told her I go, that came out. I go, you want to watch it? And she goes, yeah. And I go, you watch it alone. I go, watch yeah. it with whoever you want. I go, I'm, I have zero interest in watching that yeah, movie. Yeah, it's on Hulu. I don't think it's going to be the greatest movie of all time, but it does look interesting. But she and- said to me the other day, she goes, you know what movie I want to watch? And I go, what? And she goes, poor things. And I go, yeah, watch it alone. I already told you. I'm not watching it with you. <laughs> She's really trying to get you to watch it. Uh, not My, happening. We do that all the time. My wife always wants to watch anything that has to do with murder or a murder mystery. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, or Dr. Phil. Or my 800-pound sister or any of those things. I'm like, I don't want to watch any of this. I don't want to watch my 800-pound sister when I'm eating. That's <laughs> yeah. the worst. You see your future. Oh, oh that's you. mean. That's mean to my sister. <laughs> uh, all right, 727-579-1025 or 800-771-1025. Will you get Martin Gramatica and, and bring him in the studio? Martin is uh, out in the, in the green room area, and we're going to talk to him about Colon Cancer Awareness Month. Mm-hmm. Now, where are you at? Have you ever had the finger test done? Uh, yes. And how long ago? Uh, it was a little while ago, but then uh, I have had the blood test where they can test your blood and uh, see the markers and all that stuff, whatever. But yes, I have had the check as well. You okay. know, And that was uh, uh, last year. Gio, when did you have the last time the finger test done? The finger test? Yeah. I, do, I have not. Not at all, ever? No, no. Joe? No. Carmen? Uh, not by a doctor. Hi. Right, a guy who flips burgers somewhere. <laughs> no, uh, okay, so uh, you've never had anything done. Joe, I'm sorry, what did you say? I said no. Never, ever. No, never, At your ever. age? At my age, yeah. Oh, oh you need it. dude. Yeah, I'm probably I, in trouble. We could probably just shake you and your yeah, colon will fall out. It's possible. It feels a little loose. Uh, Martine <laughs> is here with us. Martine, as you know, uh, works for Lifeguard Imaging, and it is Colon Cancer Awareness Month. And several months ago, we thought it would be a good idea to agree to get scanned in the butt. Uh, until and now, it's now that that month is here and almost gone. You're like, ooh, we got to get it done, don't we? 
You do, you do. You've been dodging me though. I don't know how many takes. How many takes? <laughs> he's been trying. He's poking he, at you. I, yeah. I mean, he went as far as shutting the back gate to the. the <laughs> 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 Can't I mean, get that, in. That's how I could get in. That's <clears throat> yeah, how far yeah. you went. That, that's how scared you are. Is there? Is it more uh, prevalent in men than women, or is it about equal? I, that would be a uh, Stephanie uh, the, or uh, question. Know, yeah, yeah. That that would be. Some, but I think most men uh, are the ones that do it. When when I meet with uh, couples. The, the guys usually has done it. The, the woman has not. So I don't know. Right, because we got prostate stuff to deal with. So right, possibly. yeah. Um, yes. All right, but you had it done. I did have it done in Arizona. No, no, no. I did it oh, here. Oh, you did it here. What? Well, I, I don't know if I told you. I had a, a buddy of mine diagnosed with stage four. Yes. And that freaked me out. So I just made the appointment. I said I'm going to do it. Uh, and I keep in Santiago. You know, my brother obviously, you know, he talks a little bit more sense into me. Right. So I keep telling people how easy it was. He's like, "Well, they're going to look at you differently now that you've seen if you see." Yeah. 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 What so, if I feel invaded? I'm really like, "Man, Martin must have a loose anus." <laughs> well, the thing is, I, I think I was ex <clears throat> planning for the worst, and it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Okay. I'm not saying I want to do it every week. Right, but uh, if you had to <laughs> recreationally, yeah. right? No, definitely not. <laughs> this was <a> strictly medical. <laughs> so what we're talking about is a virtual colonoscopy. And I'm, I'll explain it. Tell me when I'm wrong, okay? Right. So you get in the machine. I assume that you were probably uh, uncovered from the waist down, like uh, undressed from the waist down. Yes, yeah. Well, you, they give you a gown, right. a gown, so you can take everything off and put a gown on. Do you, you lay on your side? Well, for the prep, for the initial part of it, you lay on your side, yes. Right, and then what about when you go in the tube? So you go in the tube uh, twice. So you go in face up, and then they, you flip over, and then face down. Okay. So, but it's super fast, it's like... The um, the prep by the time the, they get the equipment out because it's you know the it, it is minimally invasive which it, right it's still invasive but it's not like you know uh, not what you would think a six foot probe with a camera so uh, by the time they get all the prep stuff done and get all the equipment out it takes longer than the actual scan okay so they then they proceed to and I'm not saying this to be funny because this is real they proceed to take a uh, plastic item that is approximately what three and a half inches two and a half two and a half inches. an inch means a lot that does mean a lot <laughs> yeah a lot. so let's, let's get it right two and, and a half. they insert it into your butthole yes and they go all the way in there with the two and a half inches well i'm assuming <laughs> yeah oh. and then they run you through the scanner well what happens is um there's a little bubble on this because you don't want it to slip out right so they have to inflate a little bubble so it doesn't pop out okay because now you're going to flip uh face you're gonna go face down and 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 face uh, face up. So you, you're gonna flip and move around a little bit. So all right. So but then um, they put uh, air in the colon. So we we inflate the colon so the scanner can see every. Now little. how does that feel? I uh, when when they were explaining, I was like, man, it's gonna feel like cramps. Like you feel like you're right. in the bathroom. It didn't feel bad at all. I, you feel bloated from like having a, a heavy meal or something like that, but or gassy. But it doesn't feel any pain. I, I thought it was those pains that you got to grab the bottom right, of your belly right, right. crunched over. It didn't feel like that at all. That's why I'm saying I I thought it was a lot easier than I than it would than I expected. Okay, so they put it in. They tie the knot. They blow a little air in it, <laughs> and they push in the machine. <laughs> they blow. <it. laughs> and then like once, a balloon. You're, once you're in the machine, the machine, the serious part of it is the machine is now able to see everything. And uh, as opposed to a regular colonoscopy where they go in, it doesn't see between the folds. It doesn't see between what's hiding around the corner. This thing sees everything. Everything. And the images are incredible because it, it, when I show people and they're like, I, we can't believe that it's not invasive. That's not right. a camera and there's, it's actually a scanner doing it. But the biggest thing is we do the outside as well. So the, the machine does a 3D image of the outside of the colon because there's, there's times where the cancer has been on the outside of the colon and it's oh. seeped in. Because if you have a clean colonoscopy, back in the day, they would say, come back in 10 years. And 10 years is a long time yeah. between tests. Now they're being a little more proactive. Most doctors will say five. But still, if anything's going on on the outside, you just never know when it could seep in. We're going to be able to see everything inside and out. And the biggest thing, I got mine done at 730 in the morning. I worked all day yeah. because you're not being put under. So, you know, you just feel a little bloated and gassy. But other than that. You're fine. Yeah, what, what about blood and gas? Yeah. 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 <laughs> what about leading up to it? What do you have to do for the prep? Well, I, that, that was a big fight with my wife. Okay. Because, you know, she knows everything. We have right. to fight with your wife before we <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I did. I did. But I'll tell you why. So uh, the protocol, the one I chose was taking some pills at 3 p.m. But I had to coach my daughter soccer. So I'm thinking like, okay, if I start too early, I may have to run out of practice. So I start. So the I, pills are designed to uh, uh, start, get everything out. Get everything out. So you do, I believe it was four pills. At, it's supposed to be at three. I pushed it to four. 
Okay. So I did my pills, and then it's three smaller, the twenty ounce Gatorade jugs. It's not the big gallon one, the huge one with Marilax. Okay. So I I I start to do one before practice, but I'm, but now in my head I'm thinking like, ah, this is not a good idea. So I go half. And then that's where the argument happens because she keeps telling me on the way to practice, like, you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. And I'm like screaming. I'm like, you're not a freaking doctor. Like, you're going to be fine. This is the first time I wanted her to win the argument. And, uh, <laughs> that's a hell of a gamble in front of the kids. <laughs> I, I, well, I told my assistant, I'm not demonstrating anything today. I'm just <laughs> yeah. going to stand here. If you see me run, then you know where I'm going. So, uh, so yeah, so he was prepared to take the whole practice. But I, so I started at 4 p.m. Uh, Thursday and had it done at 7.30. I mean, I did go to the bathroom quite a bit over the night because you have to clean, but not completely. It doesn't have right. to be completely cleaned up. So the prep was really not that bad. I lost some weight, which I felt pretty good about. Do you, now, were you just scrubbing the hell out of your butt before you went in there? I mean, I took a shower. I know, but I'm going to take a shower, too. <laughs> And I'm gonna read it like it's Braille, and I want to <laughs> yeah. know that it's totally spotless. I may spray to some cologne, maybe. No, I'm just uh, <laughs> because you know that if you have a dirty butthole, they're gonna talk about it. Oh yeah. I mean, I'm in the office every day. I, I haven't heard anything about it, so apparently uh, it was okay. No weird looks from anybody. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, everybody it's... showed up to work early that day. I don't know why they wanted me to walk out. <laughs> and actually, Kevin showed up late. Well, I was like, Kevin, I'll meet you there at six in the morning if you want. Let's get it done. He, he, he there was an accident on the veterans. Go, go figure. Right. Yeah. So, so I'm sitting there literally waiting in the office. I'm doing, Kevin, come on, man. I'm ready for this. I'm, I'm, I've been psyching myself out. And, and uh, the, the accident, you know, put us 30 minutes behind, which meant the whole office was there, which they were going to throw me a, uh, a VC party. So it, it, it went from being like something that I wanted to make sure nobody knew about to, to like, everybody, yeah. Yeah, everybody in the office. It's all good. Though. The we're, next we're, morning, they all brought in chocolate donuts <laughs> and were laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I lied to my wife. I said, hey, we got to practice before we go. Mm. We got to do, you know. Yeah. Just to make sure it's all ready, ready to go. <laughs> now, who put it in for you? <laughs> <laughs> now it's starting to get too personal. Because we had a choice. We had a choice between the guy doctor and the girl I, doctor. I, yeah. I said, yeah, you guys flip a coin, but it, I, I ended up being Kevin. So Okay. Uh, Kevin, I think one Kevin. He got tails. What? Yeah. Poor Kevin. Soft Poor hands. Kevin. Uh, <laughs> Can I don't know. See? He was kissing me on the neck <laughs> while it was happening. I don't know. If was, Can like, we see I, a picture of Kevin, said, please? I'm going to distract you. So I'm okay, like, whatever, good. man. Perfect. I brought flowers, donuts. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make sure Kevin was nice. Yeah. You take <laughs> Kevin out to dinner afterwards? or <laughs> No, before. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's the right way to do it. I was a dessert. He's a gentleman. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. This is Martin Gramatica. We're talking about the virtual colonoscopy you can get at Lifeguard Imaging. Now, uh, how soon did you get your results? So I, I got him. So I did it Friday. By, by Monday, the next week, I, it, it was already there. And now I have that peace of mind. I'm good for five years. They, let, they do it again in five years. So they, there was no pileups, nothing on the outside. So, uh, yeah, no, I, I, now when I see what my friend's going through with, with the, the surgery, the chemo, the radiation, I'm thinking like a little embarrassment at the office is well worth you know, the peace of mind. And embarrassment, no pain. No, no not at, all. Know, not you know, at we're, all. We're joking around it, but we're trying to be serious and talk about it so that uh, people know, and especially this month is where it's Colon Cancer Awareness Month. Uh, a lot of the, a lot of the people who end up with colon cancer are saved because they caught it early. So there's no better way to do it. No uh, question. Are they open on Saturday? <laughs> well, I only ask because of our job. Like think, like we can't take that medicine and then be running to the bathroom while we're on air. Oh yeah, Carmen struggles on. Well, like Carmen, right. mm, burritos. You, you, five you could start on a Thursday after the show, right at four, and then I'm sure Mike will be okay with us recording while you get the yeah. yeah. on yeah. 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 live, yeah. live, yeah. 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 live, live from the scan. So okay. Saturday is off the table. Okay, I, I, got I mean, it. I can ask, but you know, I don't know if Kevin or Stephanie would be. Yeah, you'll, <laughs> you'll have a mic on one end, and you know, they're thinking the other. Listen, end. I'll do it. I don't care. I'm down. I just don't want to have to like sit here and be all bubble guts all morning long. You're not going to be because you start at four p.m on one day and then you're doing it the next morning right yeah i got gotcha, you so i'd have to miss work i'm in well no Mark, you, <laughs> would be, you would be there you would be live from that's fine too lifeguard yeah okay all Let's right do it. and we get to listen while, they, while they're putting it in i mean sure and joe puts the camera just on your face nope Sure. We already tried that. He doesn't know how to follow the rules. Oh, uh, yeah. He's that's out. Right. Not true. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure I can, we can find a camera guy. I'm, yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm in the office early, Mike. You know, I, I can take up for the team. Right. <laughs> I'm in. I told you I would do it. I'm in 100%. So well, let's go. We're going to schedule right. it. Uh, let me look real quick. Is this uh, me? <laughs> uh, my brother was just down, uh, Tim, and he did the uh, full body scan over at uh, Lifeguard. He said it was great. He but, said you guys couldn't have been nicer. It was awesome. Got him in early. Yeah, it was great. By the way, you, you told me, I mean, he was big, but I'm like, holy crap. 
Yeah, he's a big dude, he's right? Big, he's huge, yeah. huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice guy. Yeah, we chatted for a while, so yeah, it's really. It was weird because he was calling you by your first name. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, who are we talking about? <laughs> 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 no, um, yeah, it was. It was nice having him. Yeah. Are we off on Good Friday, Carmen? Uh, no, but we can be. No. Like it's it's not a holiday. No. But what if we do it on Friday the 29th? Friday the 29th. Yes, it, I'm yeah. sure they're listening right now, but I'm pretty sure we'd be okay. Let me, you want, you want me to text them right now? Judgment day. So we just, we'll just broadcast from there and we all do it. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Why? No, no, no. Why not? Yeah, I mean, I uh, like can I do, way. can I do everything at once? Can I do the colonoscopy and do the uh, full body scan? Cause I'm up for, we're all yeah. we're up for the year. Right. right? You're all up, unfortunately, it's a separate scan. So they recommend spacing it out four to six weeks. Between oh, okay. Between birth uh-huh. colonoscopy and uh, the full body scan. So you can choose to do either or if you want to start and get gotcha. your, you guys all are, you guys are all up for the uh, second yeah. scan. So yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I want that information. Mm. I want what? it all. Why not? I don't know. What if I go back and they're like, you're at 2,800? Well, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to go up either. G- Gio, you had a good one. You were only like I know. in your 40s. Yeah, but then he found the double Big Mac. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Listen, a lot, once a week. A lot has happened since then. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you, I, I'm open that week. 29th. The let last me, week of the month. Let me, uh, I'm so t- we can I'm do it. Uh, right I would now. assume it'd be better to do it later in the week, like Friday or so. Hmm. The, the, the way I. The, I chose Friday because I figured, well, it's the end of the week and I can relax on the weekend because I thought I was going to have some effects from it and right. I wouldn't ruin my whole week. But uh, no. by Saturday, you're 100% normal. You're 100% normal by, by Friday l- noon, you know, lunchtime. It's just a little gassy in the morning and um, that's it. So it wasn't bad. So, All right. I'm so, in. Okay. I'm Fr- in. Friday the 29th? Yeah. So we're off on Friday. No. <laughs> oh, we're on. So who's doing the show? We'll do it after the show. Oh, okay. Oh, geez. You're but sure you have you to prep, though. Yeah. Right. Can we, oh, so that's what I'm saying. Day. That's what Carmen's that's trying what, to tell you. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, we can't do that. We either either off or have to do the show from there. There's a lot the of pregame recomm- happening. The, yeah. yeah, right. The recommendation is to do the first thing in the morning. That way, just, you know, in and out. Yeah. So yeah. You, uh, like you mean do the procedure in the first thing in the morning. Yes. Right. So you would be prepping the night before. Oh, boy. Right. Right. So you'd start, that's- let's say the Friday the 29th, you would start prepping on the 28th. Right, but am I going to be... So how bad is the prep? You take it, and then are you in the bathroom oh, the whole day? The ba- yeah, you go to the bathroom. Quite like a, a lot? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, And then you'd yeah. have to go there first thing in the morning, so we'd have to miss but the it's show. But not, it's not as bad. The conventional colonoscopy, from what I hear, is two days worth of prep. Like, you're literally cleaning everything yeah. out. And yeah. the, the day before, you can only drink water. Like So the day before uh, the virtual, it's uh, Jell-O um, and light Gatorade and that, that, and broth. You can... You you can eat, and okay. then so that's what I basically what I eat on Thursday. But I try I try not to eat a lot all week just to make sure like the prep. I didn't. This is my first time doing it. I, I didn't know what to expect, so I didn't want to, you know, eat yeah. like normal and then be, regret it later. Right. So I was like, so I ate pretty light throughout the week, but so the prep wasn't bad. So, but yeah, but it, it has to prep. So there is prep. So what do we do? How do we handle that? If we can't go during the weekend, then what do we do? All right, let me let me. Uh, well, let me get when I get to the office. I'll call you or text you and see if we can do something maybe like that. Yeah, or, 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 or we'll best. find out when your best day would be where you guys are off. But if not, I'll see if we can do Saturday. All right. Oh man. So <laughs> we could just broadcast live from there. We might oh. be better off to take off on a Friday. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I mean, it is Good Friday. We're probably gonna take off anyway. Yeah, that doesn't but, sound too good. Thing about well, this though. Think about this. Yeah, uh, depending on what we want to do. If we want to take off, we take off. But if we want to do the show, we could literally set up from there and do the show live and then be like, all right, Gio's going in. See you in a few right. minutes, Gio. <laughs> you know what I mean? Then he goes in and we continue I mean, the show. And, and just one, one person later. goes. Yeah. 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 I think that would be great. Oh, man. And then you can discuss it whenever you get back. Check, check, check. I mean, check, check, check. We can get him all. Check, check, check. 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 We'd be done with everybody. Yeah, if we did it. If you wanted to do that, like the, to me, the preparation is the uh, the scary part. Like you know, because yeah. you got to go to the bathroom, you're, you're doing right. stuff. That's like we have. Uh, it's a four story building. There's a lot of bathrooms. No. What if it inflames my hemorrhoids from all the from all <laughs> yeah. the evacuating? That's a good question. That's again, that's another Stephanie question. All right. Well, Stephanie is the last person I want to talk to about my inflamed hemorrhoids. <laughs> no. I just won't mention your name. She's yeah. probably not listening. <laughs> <laughs>
I just feel in that preparatory process, you want to be uh, at home. Yes. <laughs> like a home field advantage. Well, you're yeah. going to be home all night. <laughs> okay. All right. right. And then, but uh, even though, like, you're... Like, like, yeah, because you go in it's, uh, you go in early. Okay, by I get the time it. The, by the time I, I got there at right. 7, it's it ma- was already pretty much gotcha. gone. Like, there was really no... So it's mainly the afternoon and then the night before. Yeah, so I would start a little earlier than I did. I started at 4. Like I right, said, if you right. started around 2 by... by what, depending on what time we decide to do it, uh, you'll be fine the next morning. Like, were you waking up in the middle of the night? Yes. yes. Oh, oh. oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I didn't sleep much that night. All right, yeah. well, then let's plan on taking off Good Friday. We're going to probably take it off anyway, and we'll just plan on doing the start the prep on Thursday and doing the test on Friday. So who's, the 29th, we're who's off. doing it? Everybody or just Mike? Or I, I'm in. I would like to do the, uh, the full body scan before the... Okay. Otherwise. I would like to do the... I would like like to do that one which one the cleaner <laughs> <laughs> the colonoscopy test yes the cleaner carmen sounds very excited that's my choice right yeah, yeah. It's like, <laughs> yeah well listen martin just said he lost a bunch of yeah. weight doing it oh, we're about to go oh, on, oh, we're about to go oh, on the cruise by the <laughs> way that's something i want to point out so if you're talking about doing uh friday this friday the 29th and then we're That's off next Friday. Uh, yeah, right. sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah. We're off the, the following 20th, Friday. Then we're off the following Friday for the cruise. And yeah. Thursday. Mm-hmm. And Thursday. We're, and Monday. We're off the next three. The following week, we're off three days in a row. How's Ooh. May looking? Yeah. <laughs> right. That's no. So, we got to do it in March. Well, so I would say if we are going to be off on the 29th, I would look for a fill in host. Okay. To do the show, and then that way it's not a best of, since we are going to be best of Thursday, Friday, and Monday. Then we can actually Monday. call in during the show, too. Yeah. Afterwards, yeah. yeah. No, like, oh, during. Call in live, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, let me text Ian Let's right go now. with that day. <laughs> okay. We'll go with that day. You want to text me? How we're many all going in together. One, two, three, four. I'm in. I know Amanda wants to go. Okay. I'm in. I'm ready. Listen. Mm, mm. How much weight did you would you say you oh, lost? Oh, that's, all, that's all Carmen's <laughs> concerned with. She's just thinking how great she's going to look on the cruise. Oh, yeah. this, this Carmen, 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 you could just have them remove your colon. <laughs> I do I'm work down out, with it though, too. By the way, I do work out. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I do too. Listen, I work out too. It's just not working out for me. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to see if I can get my wife. Oh. Martin, do we get copies of the uh, printout? Of the uh, of the oh, colonoscopy, yeah, no, you, you're going to have that uh, sent to your portal. Yes, everybody okay. has to set up a portal, and they'll send it over everything. No, so suitable for framing, would you say? <laughs> it, it's, it's the that, 3D printout you're talking <laughs> the, about. Yeah. The 3D is much more uh, easier to look at than okay. the actual right. in, inside. The inside, I, I wouldn't frame those. Okay. Right. <laughs> just, just oh, we're framing like them. We're hanging yep. them. Yep. yep. <laughs> oh, <all right. laughs> we're gonna play whose colon is who. <laughs> oh. All right, so we're in. All right, 29th. We got right? a date. Can, can, oh, you, can you text me when you get a chance how many to see? Because I, listen. You get on Gio's microphone real quick. Come on. No. Oh. Why are you so why are you in a bad mood? I'm not. I'm just like in my pajamas. I thought you. you Martin. Know, just, cares? Who cares, right? It's not Titus. 20. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I have to put my Louis Vuitton pajamas on. On the 29th, we're going to go get our buttholes checked. Okay. All right. Wait, you're in? What? 29th of March? Yeah. All right. It's right around the corner. Soon. Uh-huh. I'll do a pre-check on you. Oh, yeah. all right. <laughs> Are you down? I, I got to let Martina know how many people. What do you mean, me? Yeah. I, <laughs> there's a rest of the room, too. I wanted to make oh, sure okay. you were in. The team, team Everybody. effort here. Oh, I'm Jesus. doing it. All right. I want to do it. I want to see inside my colon. Yeah. I want to yeah. see inside. It's pretty cute. I've seen it. I think it's going to be good. Uh, all right. Good. <laughs> you hope. <laughs> no, I think it's going to be good. Yeah, I think so, it's yeah. going to be good, too. But what if it's not? And we discovered it early. Right, we'll fix it. Yeah. All right, excellent. Thank you. All right, great. You any snacks? No, I was just eating nuts. Oh, ooh, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right, thank you. <laughs> yep. You're dismissed. Bye. Appreciate it. All right, just so we're we're two, two. so far. Three. 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 Four. Five. Geo. Six. <laughs> I don't trust them. So will will you be able to do all of us in one in that, one more? That's a uh, good question. Let all me. Right. So max six. We'll okay. say, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. We'll find out. All right. Let us take a break. And uh, we still got a lot of show left to go, but let's let's take a break so we can sit here and ponder and think about what we just did. <laughs> <laughs> 
Do we draw ex- straws? I don't know how does this work? Look, I'm excited. I'm ready to go uh, now. I was I have no problem going first. Well, yeah. uh, I mean, the, the one thing I, I failed to mention is we need the uh, script from a doctor. So I don't know if you have a primary care doctor that yes. can do that for yeah. all yes. you guys. Okay. Oh, I do not. No. Uh, you don't? I do not have a primary care, primary care doctor. No. Yeah, I know a guy. Yeah, I, got I, can, I know a guy. Okay, thank yeah. you. Send me the guy. Yeah. Pete's got a guy, I'm sure. Carmen, maybe you can. We got time. Maybe you can do it twice before the cruise. Oh. Wait, what? Really, like, this could be. You know o- what, Gio? <laughs> this could be your Ozempic. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> All right, we'll take a quick break. It's Mike Cal to show. If you want to uh, get your virtual colonoscopy or a regular scan, lifeguardimaging.com, which is where our friend Martine works. We'll talk to him more when we come back. It's 1025 The Bone. You have allergies? Horrible. Yeah. I feel like I need to go and get the test to see what else I'm allergic to because the I mean my eyes are constantly crusty and and war because they're always just watering from all this pollen. We do shots. Me. I do shots. I do the shots. And you it, do, and that's actually shot. helped. Uh, yeah, the, you start weekly and then you build the tolerance. Now, now we've done it long enough that uh, we go every four to six weeks, but it's helped. But you said shots, and Joe got all excited. Mm. Excited, sorry. Do you mean whiskey? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, sorry. That usually helps when I'm really, really bad. Then I just go to sleep. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the real shots don't work. Uh, the problem with those, those things, you have to build the tolerance. It's a pain in the butt because then you have to go to the office and wait. You know, yeah. You don't want to have a reaction, and uh, but yeah, it's. Uh, I don't know. I just I look outside. I went outside to uh, cook steaks the other day, and my whole barbecue, everything's just got a layer of yellow on it. I got to clean everything. It's gross. It's making me uh, it's making me wince constantly and do all that. I'm getting old, Martin. That's why I need to get scanned. Yeah. <laughs> well, Carmen, I'm well, excited about your scan. Why? I don't know. I think yours will be the most fun. Oh, I, okay. I feel like yours, because you already know you're going to be fine. Right. The only one that we don't have to worry about. So for you, it's it's pure just for fun. <laughs> yeah. And to lose weight. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Right? I don't know why you're so mad about that, Gio. I'm you know you're mad. also you know you're also gonna lose weight by doing this, right? I, just, I don't feel like it's designed for a weight loss. It was only two pounds. <laughs> yeah. Two pounds is two pounds. Two pounds and, of is a lot. And also sometimes that's all you need is to like clean out your system. Get it because, right and tight. You know what I mean? Like well, some you know, you just you eat a lot of crap and you don't realize it and then it blocks you and so this could just be just a talking little, to you, Gio. A little what? help. Maybe. You eat a yeah. lot of crap. Right, yeah. I'll... Martine lost two pounds. Gio, I'm going to go with like six. <laughs> All right. Set, can, I, can I cut them once a week and do it? Is that okay? <laughs> Is there rules about this? You, you can like just it. buy the stuff, drink it, and crap in your toilet. <laughs> yeah. Not coming, not you coming down the pen up your butt. <laughs> and just leave lifeguard out of it. Yeah. <laughs> leave the fun part out. Uh, can we take some phone calls? People have some questions. Uh, yes. Uh, 727-579-1025 or 800-771-1025. Pat, good morning. You're on the mic. Health the show. Hey. Martin Garadik is here. Yes. Good morning, Martin. Good, Good morning. morning, everybody. What's up, buddy? Uh, I got a question. Does Lifeguard, is it covered by insurance, that colon uh, scan? No, that's a great question. Anything preventative uh, besides the mammogram is not covered by insurance. Unfortunately, uh, they're not. Uh, in, in our VC, for some reason, it's not where regular colonoscopies, if the doctor prescribes it, sometimes it is. So, it, But our stuff is not. Okay. Oh, and what's the cost? Do you, do you have an idea around, Does it vary? around about cost? Well, th- th- we have programs. The best way is to, if you want to come in, uh, you obviously uh, can qualify for the free heart scan. When you come in, we're going to explain everything, not only the cost of the full body scan, the program, and also the VC. So, Because it, 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 does, it does vary depending on the program that you decide to use. All right. So uh, oh. lifeguardimaging.com is where you can go and get all the information. It's right over there on the causeway on the Tampa side, and it's very easy to get to. Uh, Mike Cal, the show, good morning. Hello there, Mike Healthy. You were talking about stinky smells in the house. I have them too from we letting should, out stinky farts all night long. We should stick him in the in through the heart scan. I guarantee he's got a zero score. <laughs> I guarantee a medicine man's in great shape because he's been riding his bike everywhere for the last thirty years. Yeah. yeah sure. Except his skin's like leather. I don't think you'd be able to see through it even with the virtual scan. <laughs> uh, Mike Healthy show. Good morning. Hey, Martine. What's going on? Good morning. That thing got Bluetooth. I want to see that 3D scan on Bone TV. Oh, Leave the jokes yeah. to us, buddy. Mike, count the show. Good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, Martin, this is this is Brian. I spoke with you uh, over the weekend on the radio uh, about me and my wife had come in uh, last year and uh, and got a package with you guys. Isn't isn't there something that if you have a package for the uh, for the body scan that you can Insert one of those, no pun intended, for the colonoscopy scan. Well, depending like on you can swap them out. 
depending on the program that you did, we have uh, some programs that have a virtual colonoscopy included. And in some patients that, are, that the virtual colonoscopy, they're not eligible for it because if they've either had polyps in the past or, or they may not want to do it, then we convert that into a full uh -huh. body. But yeah, you, you may, depending on your package, you, if you want to call the office and then we'll, we'll figure out which package you have and you might uh, have a virtual colonoscopy with it. There you go. All right, perfect. Well, hey, hey, Thank well, you guys. Wait, 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 what was your score? What was your calcium score? I had a zero, surprisingly. God damn it. <laughs> All right, thank you. I'm glad I'm glad you got a zero, sir. I'm just, damn it. Uh, Mike Caldas Show, good morning. Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, just wanted to flash back real quick. Uh, you guys were talking about movies. I was dropping my kids off. So I couldn't call. Um, the one movie, you guys said, like, what, what was it? Um, uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind? Yeah. Dude, Fire in the Sky, that messed me up. Fire in the Sky was good, I was too. Oh, yeah. And then I tried to show my kids that. And they're like, yeah, this isn't scary. I'm like, you don't understand. It was a different time. Yeah, yeah. Back then it was scary. A lot of light. Uh, I, Close, yeah. Close Encounters, to me, is one of those movies you could watch. You know, you only need to watch the last uh, half hour of it. Just them getting in there and the and the aliens coming. And then, then you sit there and wonder if this something like this has really happened already or if it's going to happen soon. You think we're going to see it in our lifetime? Me? Oh, you're looking at me, Mike? Yeah, yeah. I don't, I'm not into those sci-fi movies. I try to... Ignore and no, hope, right. in, hope that it's not real. In real life, you think in real life we're going to have some sort of contact? I would think they, they've already seen it if there is. Don't you think? Yes, I do. I believe they have and I believe they will. Right. Yeah. I think, oh, I mean, maybe your machines are communicating. You have no idea. <laughs> they're scoring the yes. Uh, scoring score. the, yeah. Every time <laughs> no. they, like, we got a 98% uh, zeros down there. <laughs>